Okay, sorry guys, I pressed the wrong button somewhere. Pee pee poo poo, how could you? Also, hello, hello, hi Mao, hi Hooded, hi Captain Kit, how's everybody doing today? I, um, whoa, did not feel like studying today, so I decided let's play something. Let's play something different. You very sleepy? You didn't sleep well last night, Mama? So I played this, I guess, when the game came out. Uh, on PlayStation, however many years ago that was. And then I never got to finish it, because I moved out of my father's house. I never went back, so... <laughs> I hope I can actually finish this game this time. You didn't sleep well. Whoa! Why is it in English? But Ding Dong Dell's just down the way. Ding Dong Dell? Huh? That's a cool nose piercing he has. Huh? I want one of them. The rats are hella cute. I s yeah, I rats mice. Same, same, but different, you know. <laughs> they are very cute, though. A, a lot of the creatures in this game are actually fucking adorable. Right, let's get going, shall we? <laughs> hey, wait for me! It is a very cute game. I love the the style and everything. So this is. And the story was really cool as well. World. That's right, a whole nother world. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I'm doing good, Hooded. How are you? Actually, woke up really early this morning, but I had some shit I needed to get done, which is why stream is starting a bit late. Won't be staying too long. No worries. You with your family at the moment? Enjoy that time. I don't know if you get to see them often. Puggy! 
<gasps> Welcome back, thank you! Six, 16 month streak? Thank you, Puggy. Natato Babs love G Maxio one hug. Back. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Puggy. Damn, sixteen month streak even. Thank you, thank you, Puggy. Uh, I'm very looking forward to later. Very. I hope you've you've chilled your drinks and got some snacks. Preparation for a ceremony tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah. Well, no worries, no worries. It's always good to see you, of course, Hooded. But um, if you got shit to do, go do your shit. But also remember to take some time for yourself. Don't uh, don't burn out for other people's sake. Make sure you get some rest. Make sure they're feeding you, especially if you're at grandma's. I have like a. Faint recollection of this game. I don't know if I remember the story enough, but I know I've definitely played it. And I feel like I got to the last boss, but I don't remember. Because I don't think I actually finished it. I don't remember. Anyway, it's a cute, very cute game. Look at this shit. Why, good morning, Oliver. Your groceries are over there, honey. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Did Philip find you? He said he had something to show you, dear. You're too full. <laughs> so he finally finished it, huh? It's okay. You know where he is right now? He just stepped out with some It's, it's weight from Grandma's food, right? Yeah, that doesn't count, actually. Thanks, Miss Layla. Oh, say hi to your mother for me. Any, any, any weight gain from Grandma's food doesn't count as actual weight gain. Is this where I start controlling the kid? It's feel. So the last time I played this was on PlayStation. So I was like, let me play it on controller. Guess what? She's finally ready. So what Miss Layla said? Is it really what I think it is? Oh shit. What else would it be, dum dum? Dum dum. Boy, you are something else. <laughs> so what do we do now? Yeah, he's not very creative with what mean else? words. We take your first spin. Tonight. What? Tonight? Well, I can't. I mean, I need to ask my mom. And... Do I just leave it in English? It's not bad. Sure, sure. You go ask your mom. And then when do we do it? Huh? Tomorrow? <laughs> next year? So the sass well, master. I... No. Okay, Oops. We'll do it tonight. That was a mistake. We'll have to be real quiet. Sure we will. Okay, tonight, my garage. Be there, or be square. Sure. Oh. So, this is the child who will save the world. Or so says the crystal ball, your lady has. Hmm. The dark... Look at that fancy parrot. ...will not suffice. I fear not. What is the child's name? Oliver, your radiance. Oliver? Duh. Ah, I see. I... I don't remember if there's anything to run around and look at. I know I said this before, but I really like the game. <laughs> the, the style, the art style of this game. It's very, very pretty. Oh wait, this is my house. This is grandma. Come fetch your grandma. She's busy breaking bushes or some shit. What are you doing, Grandma? What an awful mess. Oh no. She's trying to pretend that she didn't make the mess. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. Hi, Daddy. 
I always find it really funny. Hey, Yo, mommy, just, just watching. Thanks, just I find it really funny when daddy redeems, um, hello, motherfucker. Because his, his name is daddy. Did you say something, sweetie? And if anyone's a motherfucker, it's got to be a daddy, right? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I suppose I will. Oh, you will, huh? <laughs> well, you stop being so mysterious and eat your breakfast. You'll be late for school. <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? Had a bit of a busier morning. Had some shit to get done. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. <laughs> you never thought about it? Yeah, I just thought of it now. You've been redeeming it for how long and I just realized now. I was like calling calling you motherfucker of all the people. It fits. It works. It's cold? What is cold? Like what temperature? Andros, hello, hello. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome to the posse. I wanted to check the weather in my area. Because I actually don't know. Uh, it's currently 26. Will be 27 today. It's 3 degrees. No, thank you. Looks like we might get a thunderstorm on Friday. My friend is going to wish for Ayayo in your world in five minutes. Oh my goodness. Best of luck. I hope he comes soon. Um, come home early and come home with a friend. That's that's my blessing for your friend, Hooded. He must come home early and he must come home with a friend. Oh, okay, wait, they're not speaking now. Today is the day our dreaming machine finally rolls off of the drawing board and onto the streets of Motorville. Oh boy, I can't wait. When can I see it? Whoa there, cowboy, not so loud. Don't forget, this is our secret. Hey, dum-dum, you didn't tell your mom about it, did you? No, I did not. I asked her if she was busy and she said she has a concert practice, so she'll be in bed real early. Perfect, then tonight's the night. You still in, kiddo? <laughs> sure I am. Tonight at your garage. I'll be there. This game is a masterpiece? Yeah, it's um, it's a game I played uh, when I was younger. Really enjoyed it, but I don't think I ever finished it. So I wanted to... Uh, I bought it a while ago as well, and I wanted to see if I could finish it. She must be asleep by now. All right, he's sneaking out. Nito, she's out like a light. This kid. I hope he's not having this loud discussion in the, the corridor and the mom's just laying in bed trying to fall asleep. Now's my chance. I have to get to Phil's garage. Phil seems like a little shit. I'm not going to lie. Why to open the main menu? Ah. Hey yo! I now have permission to use the, the main menu. But there's nothing here. Cool. Do I need to save? I don't know which button is the save. Is that. That's the save. Okay, we're good. It shows a different uh, button to mine. <laughs> okay, cool. Stomping down the stairs. But this is going well. Sky is asleep behind me. He's been a little bit, um, oh, hold on, a little bit of a, a shadow lately. Been laying behind me a lot. <gasps> Hi, Yoda. Yeah, Nino Kuni, you played this? I I played it when it first came out, but this is like the remastered version. Honestly, couldn't tell you what the difference is because I don't remember the old game a bit. It's uh, like a a really faint memory. I I can't remember the story exactly, but some of the visuals I can remember. 
You liked it? Yeah, it's really good. Sure is. The last bearing's in, and she's primed for action. Wanna see? Do I ever? All right. I, I, I just remember, like, really fond memories of enjoying it. And how there was one boss that I really struggled with. Oh, they were making a fucking car? I thought they were making a plane. Maybe that's another Ghibli movie. <laughs> Hi, Miyuki! How are you doing? Also, thank you for making a recommendation on little Amazon's thing. That was quite nice of you. I... I sometimes forget y'all live in the same place. <laughs> You're in the hospital. Are you okay? Also, Yoda, I'm doing alright. Welcome back, maestro. Daddy, you're not gonna catch me with that. I I know you can't see my forehead right now, but I, in fact, do not have stupid tattooed on my forehead. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Phil, who gets to drive first? Obviously, Phil gets to drive first. Hmm, let me see now. Tell you what, kiddo, if you run down the street and make sure the coast is clear, I'll let you go first. Oh, what? You mean that? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, wait right here. And watch out for Starry Mary, will ya? Starry Mary? You know the girl who was spying on us before, the one who's currently spying on you. <laughs> What's poppin'? Don't mind me just watching. Thank you, thank you, daddy. I hope you have a lovely day today. That kid is cracked. Okay, well, clearly the meaning of the word cracked has changed since this game came out. Um, Elden Ring? Uh, Elden Ring isn't my kind of game, Maestro, but maybe if someone else uh, enjoys that kind of game, maybe they can grab it. I, I don't think I would play Elden Ring. Someone asked me that recently, and I was just like, uh, I don't, I just don't think I would enjoy it. You're in the ER, intensive care. Oh my goodness. Critical high blood pressure. Oi. Do you know what's causing it, Miki? You've had a horrible time there. Is the hospital not good? Or is it more like just you're not feeling good? I have low blood pressure, so I don't know what high blood pressure does. I just know my body, <laughs> it's falling apart at the seams, basically. Um, do you do you have something with you, Muki? Do you have like a like a Switch or Game Boy or something, laptop? Because I know when I was stuck in hospital, I was in hospital for like three weeks or something. But I had like uh, my boyfriend gave me his DS, and um, I had stuff to keep myself busy, even though it was a really like shit experience. Um, when I wasn't sleeping, I was just distracting myself. But um, how are you feeling? Are they are they giving you like I don't, I don't know what you do with high blood pressure medicine? Might be your kidneys. Can be all kinds of stuff. Oh, that's not helpful. Mama Muke has it as well. Might be some ah. Uh, so it's something maybe that runs in your family. Is she okay? Do you know if they can give you some medicine for that? Like, is there any kind of pill you can take to help? Anyway, this kid is cracked. Starry Mary over here, she's cracked. I don't know what game she's cracked in, but she's cracked, man. There she is again. I bet that tattletale goes straight to her olds. She wouldn't do that. What are you, sweet on her or something? Listen, when was this game made? I know, I know, um... God, I know I'm old, but no one uses this expression, being sweet on someone, except old people. Phil is actually an old man. That's why he's the size of a child. It's not trauma dumping, though, Miyuki. I, I don't consider that trauma dumping. I mean, did, did I not ask how you're doing? <laughs> if, um... I mean, we're also... We've been friends for years, Miyuki. Uh, you know...
I feel like there's there's some exceptions to some things. There's like people I know well. Oh, oh is that Sterry Mary? Oh no, it's a green hair baby. How do you know my name? Ollie! What's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Flo. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh, that girl over. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? There's nobody there. Huh? That's weird. She was right. Oh, my God, Yoda. <laughs> A girl, huh? <laughs> I bet it was that. Paul, Paul is there. literally a grandpa no, emoji. She's not allowed out. You must be going. Paul is it? Anyway, fuckwad. Oh, oh, okay. Is that considered bullying a child if I call him a fuckwad? Oliver, the boy who will save the world, but unfortunately for him, his light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. Indeed, he may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be disturbingly powerful. Is she the bad guy? I don't remember. Darkness not engulf the land entirely. Might this one not prove equally tenacious? What would you have me do, Your Radiance? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Okay, I guess she's the bad guy then. Your Radiance. I mean, which um, hero has got a parrot as a pet? If you own a parrot, you're automatically a villain. I need to inform some of my friends. You've been in the ER, they gave you meds. It didn't drop quick enough. Oh my god. Mom, help me. Trying to get it consistently low with poles. Gosh. Sorry to hear that, Miki. I hope they figure something out. Hey, Yaku! Uh, sweetie? Not feeling sick. One of the dictates. Oh, uh, high blood pressure can break down Oliver? your body. Can cause blood clot. Oh my god. That's kind of spicy, Muki. I hope they, they figure something Oliver? out. Uh-oh. Hello, Hello, motherfucker. Hi, Moombas. I'm doing alright. I hope you're doing well as well, well friend. It, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? <gasps> Oliver. Oliver. Is he sending Oliver first as a crash test dummy? That's the only reason he allowed us to go first. Did you finish Pokemon? I didn't! I didn't! I actually took my Switch with to the Kruger, but we were so tired most days. <laughs> that we didn't, um... We didn't end up playing. So I haven't played since the last time I streamed it, basically. Um... And I guess I was supposed to play it today, but I just felt like something different. You see, Flip is a shit. What the fuck, Philip? Oh my god. Why does the kid have a motorized vehicle? Because he built it. <laughs> he deserved that? Daddy, what the fuck? Oliver? Oliver, 
wake up. I hope Philip lives with that trauma for the rest of his life. Mom? Oh, sweetie, I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about you, Carl? <gasps> no, stage three. Fuck. It's gone. Oh, my God. Philip, you are going to prison. He should. Oh, shut up, Phil. You didn't almost drown. Ali and Ollie. That's cute as hell. <laughs> they took so long. <laughs> Shouldn't have been doing something he wasn't supposed to, or something dangerous. Oh, I mean, that is true. Oh, sweetie. I can't believe they've put us on stage three. What a bunch okay. of knob goblins! I know you will. Oh my god. You good now? For me. This is the worst timeline, guys. Oh my god, is she dying? I'm busy looking at my power cuts and Mama's dying. Mom? Mom! Oh, I don't remember this game being so sad. No. What the fuck? Don't leave me. Yeah. Moom! Oh. Not Daddy. What the heck? Full, full killed her. She always had a weak heart. What a last minute thing to put it. It seems like a... Like such a... Just random thing to say. Hi Converse, watching the anime. I mean, it's, it's the cutscenes in the game. But I mean, it's, it is, it is animated, I guess. Hey, yo, why is the villain a mommy? What them boots do? So yes, we are watching it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> technically, yes. Oliver, honey, I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? Apple pie. I love apple pie. This guy is still fast asleep behind me. I really need to set up Papa Cam. Because he's literally just laying on the floor behind me. It's going to be the most boring pet cam you've ever seen. He doesn't move. He lifts his head every now and then. To like look at Ray. And then he puts his head down again. Oh, it's so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. Boots are made for being- no, boots- boots are for stepping on. Faces- faces were made to be stepped on, right? Oh my god. Was she a villain? Um, Daddy, she's dead. She can't step on you. What do you mean the villain? Oh, <gasps> she lied. Oh my god, the ultimate betrayal. Come back. Please. Oh, this is the little Oki with the lantern on his nose, right? Witness the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, <laughs> Scarab, whoops. What are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies, I said, didn't I? Drippy? 
That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you a snivelling and moaning. A proper crybaby bunting you are. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days. I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's a new dog. What? I, um... Oh, dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but, uh, prepare yourself. What is this guy's oh, accent, this man? He sounded Afrikaans for like a hot second. The standard Ghibli blob transition. Yep. Uh -huh. They love that shit. Whenever I think of it, I always think of Ponyo. On with the show. Huh? Pugly little poo. <laughs> he is a little bit ugly. Parallel world. See, they like worlds along by the side of you were one. And one of those worlds is It's not Scottish world. though. Like a whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies. The reason I'm by her in this world of you is, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the piece of Like it's not proper, world, I don't think. Sarah, the dark djinn, his name is, and what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up. I think it's did, someone else. Me into a dog, I don't know. Kick me out of our world and into yours, the rotter. Doesn't sound oh. proper. Pirate. <laughs> he yes, he's actually a pirate. Curse was lifted, just like Literally that. all keep playing hazards. The poor. Uh, the poor hearted, poor hearted one. You can't judge a book by his cover, huh? So, anyway, Don't poop that nose. Yeah, I wouldn't either. He has Sadaa, a good snuffer. Right I mean, he's got a lantern at the end of it. I feel like it's n maybe not very good at snuffing anything. Men's would be smelling you copper his whole life. With me to help you. But I... I guess there's oh, all kinds of accents in Scotland, right? What? So maybe this is a variety oh, of... One, will you please come and save our world? Some American getting told, I... can you give me your best uh... Gimli impression? <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't think it's an actual Scottish person, Sorry, but... You you. What did you say? Go on once more, but louder. I but like I said, maybe it's... Uh... I, I mean... I can't do it. You know, you get different accents. <laughs> this is not like any any Scottish person I've ever heard, is what I'm trying to say. It's the new nose piercing. They have the bull nose piercing. This one's a lant. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying like in the beginning. I would I would wear that. I'd wear a lantern on my nose. My nose just doesn't stick out so far. Wow, literally no fucking chill. Yeah, my nose doesn't stick out far enough, Daddy. The lantern would be like in my mouth. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save you, ma'am. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? Yeah. Oh, he's Welsh? The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, I don't know if I've heard a Welsh person. Soul with the great sage Alicia. It sounds like this. <laughs> huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the dark gin. You already are the lantern because so you have the lights of my life. Mao. Not not macking on me. Ray's gonna bop you. Would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link. And who knows? How's he seeing that picture with the big schnoz in the way? A good question. I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. You can't be sure because you can't see you. Why not earrings? I mean I could. How do you know all this, Mr. Drippy? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm but it's kind of hard to find, like, themed earrings. Because I, I love, like, I stars and planets and stuff. But I have difficulty finding ones that I like. I'm very fussy okay. about... I'll come to your the jewelry that I wear. I'll come with Not you and quality or anything, but like oh, the closures. You might be doing if you don't got a ball or it doesn't snap closed, I'm not interested. Chop chop. 
but it, how do we get to it sure isn't like that, right? That's not a Welsh magic. accent. Yeah. The, the Welshman got told got told to speak like a Scot. Ah, Maestro. Uh, they said search the fireplace. Hi, Danny! How are you? Why does it run sometimes and other times it's just walking slowly? What could be hidden in a place like this? Oh, you a changed your name on Twitch. Huh? A book? But it will burn in there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't, now would it? Really? <gasps> thank you, thank you, Danny. How are you doing? How was uh how was your Christmas? Did you spend some time with your family this weekend? <coughs> this is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion, the fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. Wait, why was it in the fireplace? I'm confused. Did I miss something? Oh, it's in the menu? Okay. Write your name in the book. <laughs> Cry, baby. Teto des. Avoiding the fact that my old Twitch name used to be mistaken and misrated for another. Oh, really? Oh, sorry, Danny. You got slipped in like the bum's bad heart. <laughs> yes, weird choices they made there. Tidy. Right. Magic in our way over to my world, is it? Mm, now, let's see. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a wand now, can we? A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. Ah, well, can't be helped. We just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? <laughs> My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right at least, was it? Oh. <laughs> you want a staff? Man, staffs are so big, you have to carry them around everywhere. You can stick a wand in your pocket. <laughs> Drippy's a bit of an asshole. Uh, fair enough. Sorry to hear that though, Denny. Brown and sticky. Like maybe a stick. <laughs> the sky. Oh, she's... God damn it. She's taking all the sticks, man. Did he not say? Did he not say follow me? That's literally what I was doing. You ding dong. Oh, they're both blue and yellow. That's true, actually. Mostly just in the room while in call with someone. Oh, that's nice though. Ah. I'll be honest, I don't remember the loot system.
I mean, to be fair, I don't actually celebrate Christmas. Um, but I did spend the time with family. Not my own family, of course. But, um, yeah. As long as you can spend it how you want to spend it. Bro. Brown and sticky. There's literally a bush in front of you. Huh? I should start reading the dialogue. Oh, it's you. Who's that girl? Try talking to her. What's cracking, homie? You're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. Wait, so... How do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you... going? Hey, where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. Well, wow, that sounded fucking weird. Where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me. I wanted to know if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. Oh, but well, I like definitely I will answer, be, Drippy. Eh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Ta. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it. See? <laughs> it does, huh? Wow. Is that how people write in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But... For our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato. What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Do I never thought we'd actually find one. <laughs> Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? <laughs> Jesus Lord, have mercy. Hi, casual gamer. How you doing? Merry belated Christmas? Shouldn't it be belated Merry Christmas? Because your wishes are belated and not the Christmas itself. I'm just being pedantic. <laughs> Have uh, mostly planning spending next Christmas. With the oh, that's nice, Danny. Just make sure you pack uh, pack warm clothes. <laughs> Have we met the aggressively Welsh lantern face? Oh, we were talking about that, and he doesn't... His accent is very strange. Sounds like a Welshman that was told to sound Scottish. And he sounds like neither, as a result. He is so wiggly. He is very wiggly. I don't remember Drippy being such a... Interesting character, I guess. So I have actually played this game before. somewhere proper massive. But it was a long time ago. You need space to give it oomph, see? Space. You need space to give it oomph. Do we really need that much oomph? Oomph? Drippy is more of wobbly. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's his nose that's drippy. I mean, he's got a giant lantern hanging out of it, right? It's got to make him pretty drippy. You have to cast or maybe it's because he's got drip. He got that big lantern that's his drip. You really are new to this, are you? This he was ahead of the curve with that nose ring. Here. Oh, uh, 
sorry. No, I'll never papers. understand what Stop makes them over, yeah? decide when to have voiced um, lines and when to just yeah. have text. His boogers are lanterns? Oh my god. His whole face would be a light then. That would be pretty, pretty strange. He do got that drip. Look at them. <gasps> oh, Jesus. I almost died. We good. Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Go on, Ollie boy. Cast gateway. Um. <laughs> Ollie's outfit would actually slay today. <laughs> oh, man. Fair, actually. He's the most hipster. One of my favorite things about the Ghibli animation is the hair. When the hair, like, suddenly fluffs up. Like that. <laughs> hair doesn't just move like that. TikTok outfits. <laughs> God of War? He's a Spartan? Wait, what? Did I miss something? Sign of the Spartan? Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, I see. That's interesting. Should I change the game category to be God of War instead? <laughs> oh, this is how we got here, I guess. Leonidas. <laughs> He's fucking loud enough, that's for sure. Hey, wait for me. This ninety percent of this has been um so cutscenes and ah, home at last. But dialogue. Way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk. Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh -huh. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Jeepers. It's Poopy. Oh, Knickers. What do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Huh? Huh? It is weird, Miki. Ah! Look lively, he's making his move. It is very strange. Throw a Pokeball. I mean, kind of. You do have, like, familiars in this game. Like summons. Bonk him with the stick. I'm not sure that's what the stick is for. HP, yeah, MP, all stock standard things. Oh, do I actually hit it with the stick? Does he attack like this? <laughs> what the fuck? Glim. Oh. Tidy. Sorry, buddy. Ghiblimon. 
Uh, music is so damn good. Yeah, feels like playing through a Ghibli movie. Didn't like the second one as much, felt less magical. Okay. I haven't played the second one, I've only played this one. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Hi Hassan, GG's, how are you doing? Where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a one. That backhand was fierce, thank you. I've been practicing. That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. <laughs> you might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, you just I wish woke you up think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. No, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder. You're you? a fucking Ding Dong well, Dell. If we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more rope stomach. You need to start studying soon. So, our wands <laughs> Otherwise, your mom's so going to get the chunk out. Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shada showed up, magic's taken a real nose dive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much, they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks prick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. Broken-hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor oh. beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And you say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will! And that's why we need to find you a better wand! Alright. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Ding Dong Dell. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Poor hearted. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You wish they care for once? Oh, we care, her son. Whoa, white bread, that's not healthy. The fuck? That knobbly thing in your hand. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're super proud of her son. I call him, uh, I call him my son. Um, her son, my son. We're very proud of him. He got into university, he worked really hard. He studied really hard. And uh, despite dealing with lots of nonsense with his university, he's been working very hard as well. Oh, hell no. Let me know if the sound is okay. It seems very loud all of a sudden. <laughs> you go against white bread and, and wobbly thing. Not wobbly, knobbly, daddy. Knobbly. There are things everywhere. Cha -chang. It's soft. We're proud of our son. We are proud of our son. <laughs> Compare. I mean, it should be softer than my voice, otherwise you can't hear me. But if it's too soft to the point where you can't actually hear it, just um, let me know. Yeah. 
It's <laughs> a little round ass motherfucker. But if you guys want me to bump up the sound a bit more, just let me know. League of Legends, no tilt pull, he's trying to invent. <laughs> Prince her son. <laughs> yeah, he's um her son is studying medicine, he wants to become a doctor. I don't remember any of these creatures. Ooh. <laughs> Why is it so fast? Jesus. Oh my god, what is this? Come on! Sleepy fowl. Yeah, if if anyone else um if anyone thinks that sound's not loud enough, just let me know. I can try and bump it up a bit. Rip. There's a way to like catch those, but I can't remember how you do it. It's coming for Drippy's blood? Oh my god. I mean fair enough. Understandable. Stats? Wow, so cool. Okay, well, let's, um... Until we can figure out how to catch these things. There's something I forgot to tell you. What's that, Mr. Drippy? Here in my world, you can you change your viewpoint? Okay. If you're having trouble, trolls, go to the settings. Okay. A rumble just ain't a rumble without a bit of a rumble, is it? <laughs> Thanks, Drippy. That's a lot to take in, but I'm sure you'll get used to it. <laughs> Ding dong dell, is this the city with the rats? Drippy is to you what Paimon is to me. Entirely possible. But to be fair, Chinese Paimon is very tolerable. This guy is just a super big pain in my ass. Chicky with the cute head feathers over oh, the sleepy fowl. <laughs> like a classic case of broken heartedness. Broken heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. Drippy just getting shot and Natty is like, oh no, the drama. Go all weird and useless, they do. So his heart was broken um, by Keep up, will you? Shadar, in it. If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays mm, that jeepers. way, jeepers. We can't get into Ding Dong Dell. Nobody is worse than Paimon. I mean, I don't find the Chinese Paimon that bad. The English one definitely. She's pretty awful. Oh, I should be reading this. Sorry, guys. I know an old man who's got just what we need. Proper useful, I am. Debatable, Drippy. An old man? What old man? What do you mean, what old man? The old man, ain't it? Lives in the woods in the north of here. Proper deep and deeply dark it is. I forgot if I could post clips. I mean, technically you can post clips, Daddy, but should you? Seems easier to go into Ding Dong with a guy who seems as high as they come. You mean you mean Drippy? Drippy's high as fuck. Karate? It's not karate suit, her son. <laughs> it is not karate. It is um. Yukata. It is not karate. Oh! It is, um... What the? Why did my stream start playing sound? The heck? Did I click on something? Oh, the god? <laughs> oh, 
Um, I don't know if it's a kimono. I don't know the difference between yukata and kimono. It's one of them. Yeah, the, for some reason, my stream opened. I have lots of things open though, so... But I had other people's streams open and then for some reason mine was open. Drippy needs his accent sorted. Truly he does. I just don't know why my game is... It's supposed to be full screen, but it's like showing on one of my other screens. That looks weird. Anyway. So we came here for nothing. I'm so glad. This guy is still fast asleep. There's a big boy on the hill there. I wonder if you can only catch certain ones. Or maybe I just can't catch them yet. It looks like a- oh shit! Fuck. <laughs> it looks like a, there is something underneath, so maybe it's kimono. Oh! Yeah, you stinky bastard. Why can't I- What? That was weird. I can't attack. Huh? The buttons are not working? It's not working. Oh, now it's working. What the fuck? Because it's a sheep? That's adorable. Wah! I hate that I have to hit it with a stick though. This thing's gonna fuck my shit up. Rip. Alright, let us, let us, let us tomato uh, on white. Matt, you stinky. The most stinky Yoda, why do you ask? If anyone needs a sample of what stinky is, it's me. No! Give me peace, bro. Oh my god, this whole place wants to chase me now. The bartender. Yeah, it's the bartender. Smash hit, what an asshole. Y'all chasing a little kid. Ah! Oh, Ollie, what the fuck, man? Eat him. Clip his ass. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Just confirming. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm big stink. Big funky. Stunk stunks. Where exactly am I going? Uh, so I can't go over that way. Okay, perfect. No! Stop it! Oh, okay, you're gonna run away from me. That's fine. Which thing is cool? The the bartender. Stop it! My sleepy fowl. I like this one.
Whoa! Get fucked, bro. The sheep dino? Yeah, it is really cool here. <gasps> Yaku, thank you for the head pads. Festival episode and beach episode. I think it's, um, what is this? Is it a doggy? Rhinosaur? <laughs> Straight up attacking his booty hole. Cool. That's not weird at all, Lolly. Just saying. You come to this world and you just beat on this poor thing's butthole. 90%? Yeah, a slice of life, definitely. Beach episode, regardless. Um, festival episode, if there is a romantic interest. Looks more like a rat. It did. It definitely did. That's why I thought it was like a dog. A weight stone. Ancient stones. Store a record of your adventures. Wait, what? Is this just a save point? Why not just save? I'm so confused. Oh, okay. Maybe a bit more than saving. So I ate that food for nothing then, I'm so glad. Huh. Do not know what that is. Imagine making a save after everyone. How many saves can you have? <laughs> okay, so Drippy went that way, which means I go this way. For fuck's sakes. Get off my back, Trippy. Goddamn. Let me just live my life, bro. Did I drink my coffee earlier? Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Mr. Drippy! Bum, 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 bum. Wait for me! <laughs> Not me laughing at kids falling over. The usual. Who goes there? Uh oh. Jeepers. Jesus Christ. How do you, a leafiness? Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, I got a visit to my ear from another world, see? It's what not is nice it? to laugh at a kid who plays face planted, a is it not? Oh, I should have known. I mean, some you of my most purple links on YouTube are kids falling over, so that's you know debatable. Actually. Mm. That is my genre. That is what I watch. The poor hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. And Rippy, you mean to be a pain in the ass. You? As reckless as ever, I see. Very well. You shall have my aid. Thanks, First, Duck Tree. We had better give the boy a familiar, had we not? Oh, yeah. Clean forgot I did. He's right, Dolly Boy. It might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, innit? Familiars? Yeah, familiars. You're in our world. You can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart. See? They're called familiars. Where we're going, the beasties are only going to get bigger and meaner. So, you're going to need a helping hand, or claw, or beak, or tentacle. Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, we got so many TikTok likes that I just keep getting owned. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's it's when kids do stupid shit like to themselves. That's the kind of stuff that I find funny. Like especially when kids are told no but they go and do it anyway and I'm just like, well, they had to learn sometime, I guess. Uh, there's no spell named Form Familiar. Look at his wizard's companion. It would seem that it is missing more than a few of its pages. Knickers! Why is he saying undies the whole time? So inappropriate. Does that mean I can't cast the spell? Ho ho ho. He's Father Christmas now. I'm not as powerless as, <laughs> as all that young man. Oliver, was it? Let me see now. Form familiar. Ah, yes. A gift from me to you, young Oliver. Man's just pooped out a, a page for us. He just peeled off part of his body. Kinda, kinda gross. Kinda grim. It's so shocking as well. Sometimes you can't help but laugh. Yeah, exactly. I... I don't like videos where parents purposefully do things to their kids. Like, if a kid does it to themselves. Animals as well. If the animal does it to themselves, fine. But, like, don't... Um... Don't don't harass animals and don't like make little kids do things for video. <laughs> that kind of stuff I find a little bit cringe. And then also like um I saw there's a recent trend telling your parents that one of like their their idols or whatever has passed away and that all of the parents get so upset. I'm like, why would you want to do that to your parents? There's one video that went on a little bit longer than the others where the girl told her mum that someone died. And she asked, are you being serious? And she immediately, she immediately said, no, 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 I'm joking. And she's like, please don't do that. Like, she actually sounded really upset. I thought it was a bit mean. Don't hit creatures with a stick. Unfortunately, that's what I've been doing currently. But now I get to hit them with my Pokemon instead. So that makes it okay, right? Simply possessing the page with a particular spell is no guarantee you'll be able to make use of it. Some spells are simply not meant for certain wizards. Such is life. Hearing anyone died is always awful. Uh, yeah, it's not something you should joke about. Um, but I've been seeing it a lot on Instagram, which means it's made its way through TikTok to Instagram. Because I'm a boomer and I don't know how to use TikTok. But anyway, like, that's, that's like one of the things that's like just morally wrong to make jokes about that and and pregnancies like it's you have to be some kind of tasteless i think to make that kind of joke but how am i going to form a familiar if i haven't caught one yet how does this work oh yeah Oh! <gasps> it's is a, a familiar? Reminds me of Ponyo. The, like, the little dopey face. <laughs> and the feet. <laughs> He's gonna bonk me on the head. Oh my god, he did. <laughs> Oh, he's a Teddy Tubby, yeah. Uh, Gen Z and X kids not knowing the weight of their actions, yeah, pretty much. But to be fair, a lot of people my age, and I guess a little bit older, they're having kids, and those kids are like really messed up by what their parents are teaching them, and I'm just like, what the fuck, man? Vicious animal pit fighting is a perfectly normal and safe activity for 10 year olds, exactly. Gigi's her son. Have you eaten today, her son? Please go have some, I guess, technically lunch with breakfast. Ah, thank you, thank you, casual gamer. Take care. Imagine having kids, it's a nightmare. Yeah, your parents know all about that, her son, don't they? And they got two of you as well, at the same time. The more the merrier. Yeah, you'd better get the little fellow a name. Oh, guys, are we gonna name him? Does anybody wanna name him? Do I still have the point redeem for the Pokemon? Or shall we just pick a name? You're gonna eat in 10 minutes? You're oh, your aunt is cooking something for you? Okay, perfect. 
then I'm fine with that. Does anybody want to name the boy? I can make the first one free. Or all of them, I guess it's a uh, first come first serve. Name him GG's. <laughs> okay, well, but I'm gonna write it like a name, his son. Uh oh, no 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 no. <laughs> I was trying to lowercase. Can I I can make a space? Is it legal to name my son GG's? I don't see why not. But um you may have to argue with your We can use hiragana? And katakana! <sighs> GG's man, GG's. Listen, first you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to fight your wife. And then you're gonna have to fight with your son when he's grown up and he's like, Father, why the fuck did you name me GG's? Imagine. Ladies always win the argument. Do you think so? Healing touch. Nice. That's the most useful spell there is for a wandering adventurer. Cuts, bruises, sprains, gnash, gashes, gnashes, gashes. All gone in a jiffy with healing touch. Your mom always wins. <laughs> but she's a very smart lady, isn't she? I'm not saying your dad isn't smart, but she got them. She got that big brain. You come back to her son naming a child GG's. <laughs> so, her son, if you fight with your sister, does she always win? Fireball? Drippy, how dare you? You would never aim such a spell at me, would you, boy? Golly, of course not, old father oak. Sorry, guys, I keep forgetting to read the unspoken parts. Yes? Oh, man. Now, boy, you can press exit any time to open your spells menu. Ah. Oh. Primarily. Okay. Most unexpected of spells can prove incomparably useful. Given the right set of circumstances. Eh, da, da, da. If you find yourself at something of a loss, I recommend that you go through your magical repertoire. You never know which spell might save the day. She's got oh she's got your father's support, so you always lose. Oh man. <laughs> Are you a mommy's boy and she's a daddy's girl? Spoil for a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Ollie boy. You have returned? What did you return? Think what you want him to do and he'll do also, it. welcome back, Puggy. Okay. Just think what I want him to do. Here goes. You're gonna go eat, enjoy. Teeny Bopper. Oh my god. Fighting with familiars. Pick who's going to fight. Don't you get like three? Ah. A friend wanted to play some lol, so I dipped for a bit. Yeah, no worries. Did uh, did you did you win? Are you winning, son? <laughs> How is your holiday going? It's sort of like a star sign, sun, moon, star, and planet. Oh shit, we share HP. Oh my god. It's a long old lesson. You're telling me, mate. Stamina is always going down. You need to swap with him regularly. I'll be. Sing for your supper. Okay, so. Sorry, I was just chatting to Ray. 
Whoa. God damn, dude. Relax. Oh, that's how you swap between them? I don't think we need to. His stamina looks fine still. So maybe one more attack. Go pop it. Oh! Wait, wait. There's Drippy's making balls in the background. Making himself useful. <laughs> nice. Rip. I did in fact not win, but that's not unusual. <laughs> I mean, if you're having fun... I honestly don't play games like that where I can, like, lose. Competitive stuff. Just because I want to chill, you know. Do things in my own, at my own pace, rather. He is a Teletubby. I think we have said that earlier. Oh, just a sec. Ray's just going out to wash his car, so just making sure that Sky doesn't get out, like, all, all the stuff's closed. Not that he'll get far, but because he's old, we don't want him to escape. He's gonna get up to all kinds of nonsense if he does. You're resting a lot? Fantastic. Uh, what is this? In the creature cage, you can shower your faithful familiars with delicious treats. Well, I don't remember this part. Some will improve their abilities and teach them new tricks. What? Tidy AF, man. Boost their abilities. Ah. Careful not to stuff them too full of sweeties, though. <laughs> They'll only end up getting full up. Adoration in moderation. That's the key. It's probably a lot to get your head around. But just remember that the creature cage is where you look after your familiars and take it from there. Did you ever play this, Puggy? Could you guys hear, hear Ray's ba 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 ba? This guy's busy sitting up listening to the car. I'm still here, by the way. You know. I'm still here. <laughs> I wasn't sure if Sky could hear me sitting behind him. He was just like staring at the door. Broken hearted, shit does evil spirit still further, so you'll be needing. This quick you are. What is he talking about? A new wand? Oh yeah? You've not gone and lost it. He's a tree. Where is he going to put it, man? Lost it? The insolence. I put it away safely among my uppermost branches. It's just a little tangled up there, that's all. While I seek it out, I have a favor to ask of you. I did mention we're in a flippin' hurry, didn't I? You drippies are fucking rude. We haven't got time to... You haven't seen it before? Oh. <laughs> oh okay, Sky's lay down again. Hey, sneaky boy. Um, Mr. Drippy, we should help our... Old Father Oak. He gave us those spells, didn't he? You're baking? What are you baking? This guy is very wobbly on his feet, so I have to help him get up. The words Nino Kuni and Wrath don't go together. What do you mean? I think Nino Kuni just meant like another another country, another world. Which it is, technically. Ooh, peppermint. Ooh, peppermint caramel tart. Very nice. I have 
loads of biscuits left over from when we went to the Kruger because we just kept forgetting to eat them. <laughs> he is neglecting his duties. Well, 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 that's no good, is it? We'd better help you sort the, sort him out then. The Guardian, he sounds kind of tough. Two right he is. He's way stronger than your average beastie. But you've got a family on your side now, man. You'll be fine. And besides, if you're going to take down Shadar, you can't you can't back out of a bit of a light guardian bashing now, can you? The fuck. How very kind of you. The guardian can be found in the deepest part of the wood, beyond the whispering waterfalls. I wish you luck. Hey Poopstick, what do you want? Hmm? Not Sky just standing behind me here. Yeah? Hey Poops. First spells not familiars. You're turning into a proper wizard, ain't it, Ollie boy? I guess I am, huh? Oh, Sky. Nino Kuni is such a cuddly and chill game. The word wrath doesn't really go together with that, but it's literally the name of the game. It's always been the name of the game. Sorry, Blue Sacks. I'm not sure if I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Wrath of the White Witch has always been the name of this game. Um. Just wanted to check. Uh, close this. Yeah, it's fine. Doesn't matter. I mean, it's literally what the game's about. But sure, I guess it doesn't matter. It's a piece of cake, listen up. Friends and familiars. Looks a bit complicated, but there's a fair few options kicking about in there. You'll get. He always just says you'll get the hang of it, and I'm just like, okay, but when? Leveling up. Uh, it's this one. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> that noise. So you do get three. What you were saying doesn't matter. Yeah, I was just a little bit confused, because, like, it's... Um... The, the other one is like Revenant, Revenant of something, which I'm not familiar with, but that's the second game. I hate when games fuck with the camera like that, like bro, I just wanted to... Mind your business, I just wanted to look around. Game is like, no. I haven't looked at Yoda, I don't know if you've looked at Crossworlds, I think it's called, the new one that came out. It's like an MMO or something. I didn't look at it because like on PC it was so expensive and I was like, what? No thank you. Oh, it's for me. But on, on mobile, I think it's free to play. <coughs> you Audi's Blue Saxon, have a good day. Oh, this is where I was supposed to be going. Oh my gosh. What is that? I had the best one, you Ali boy. It's absolutely crawling with monsters. Oh, Sky's laying in the lounge now. He's got his fan. Uh, there's brave you are. Don't forget though, if the going gets tough, don't be afraid to cast healing touch. It's weird. They like they like mention these things, and then he's like, "Oh yeah, you don't need to worry about that until later." And then it's later, and he's just like, um... 
he's just like, oh yeah, you should familiarize yourself. I'm like, bro, why didn't you just show it to me? I might as well just save. Oh, that's cute. Jumps over. So now what I want to know is... Can you catch everything? A jabber! Come on! Here goes. Hmm. Whoa! GG's. <laughs> I have not figured out how to get more familiars. I know there's a way that you get them, I just I don't know how. I guess we just have to follow the story for now. Such a dramatic animation. Whoa, this guy's a hot stepper. <laughs> I can't get over this thing's feet, they're so cute. Reminds me very much of Ponyo, though. Whoa, a bar of chocolate! I would actually kill. For a bar of chocolate right now. Hmm. Don't know if there's like more stuff. This is important, so listen carefully. I showed you how your familiars can use tricks, didn't I? If all fellows get stronger, they'll start learning new ones. If you want to see what tricks you're familiar The music is so dramatic. Goddamn, calm down. Tricks are a bit different from magic. Each individual trick fills a single command slot, you see. Uh, familiar can only remember a maximum of eight tricks at any given time. If you want them to learn a new one, you have to make them forget the old ones. Okay, so it's like Pokemon. <laughs> Hi, Llama! How's it going, man? <laughs> How weird is this guy's accent, though? Okay, he's not speaking now, obviously, but... I was having a chat with someone else earlier. It's like a, a Welshman was asked to speak Scottish because it just doesn't sound like either one, but it sounds like a weird amalgamation of both of them. But how are you doing? It's supposedly Welsh, but he doesn't sound like any Welsh person I've ever heard. Watch this! Here goes. I know it's I know it's Welsh, but it doesn't sound it don't sound right. Something about it don't sound right. You're also Welsh. I didn't know that. Have do you know someone who sounds exactly like him? <gasps> I wasn't watching my health. It's just thick. Call him a pirate. <laughs> okay, I need to actually focus when fighting apparently. Oh man, I don't think I've ever seen this. You'll lose all of your money. What the fuck? That's some A grade bullshit. So, what, is that the thing I was fighting before? Oh! What the fuck are these? Okay, I actually need to watch his health. Because we don't currently have much health. Nice! <gasps> Jesus, that guy hits hard. Listen here. Yeah. Don't be <laughs> don't be mocking the accent of my people. I wasn't mocking the accent of your people. I'm just saying the way that Drippy was speaking sounded very strange. 
and not like any of the Welsh people I know, so that's why I was like, what? I have heard you speak, the llama. You just... uh, I think I think Drippy's on something else. You blame Kai? Same. A teeny bopper. Oh, jeez. Strong like bull. You don't have a strong accent? Or it don't don't come here telling me you don't have an accent. I'll kick you out. Everyone's got an accent, so Oops! Oh, don't call him English. This little fuck. An asshole. <laughs> Drippy cheerleading in the background there. <laughs> He's literally just waving his little lantern around. Uses a mishmash. Ah, uh, my my accent's a fucking disaster. I want a snack, man. What do I have? Yeah, mishmash. Or well, they're a hero mishmash. But mishmash. I've got M and M's. I'll be back in a second. No snackies for you. You put on mad weight. <laughs> I think I put on weight when I was on holiday. Mishmash is apricot. <laughs> Ray ate a lot of apricot on uh, on the holiday. The Hassan. <laughs> the one and only. I might go look at the top route first, unless this comes to a dead end. Hmm. Oh, geez, guy, calm down. I just got myself some crisps, some Let's chips. Do it. Mm. Oh my god. While I was healing. The Om Dam City. Armenian plum? Oh yeah? I don't think so. Apricot. Do you know peaches, Hassan? It's similar. Smaller. Um, and more bitter. Can I stop getting my ass kicked? That would be cool. <laughs> this is fine. I'm just wasting my own time here.
I'm not too familiar with an Armenian plum, but... Whoops. Plums are, um, it's, it's a worse peach. <laughs> we can do this! Ooh. Oh, did we kill- the we one-shot the other thing? The spittoo is tough, man. I wouldn't say it's the worst peach. It depends on what taste you like. Cakey. How many times have we done the fight here? Can I stop dying? That would be cool with me. Come on! Here goes. What? <laughs> But yeah, how was your how was your Christmas? And what did you eat, Llama? Is there anything special that your family does specifically? My mum, I was talking about it yesterday, she always made a trifle for Christmas, um, but my dad would do all kinds of things. Don't really remember all the things he made, but one year he made tiramisu and put a lot of booze in it and allowed me to have two servings, <laughs> so it was a bit strong. We've already been through all this. Would you like a cup of water? Whoa, hydrate. Right now. I'll be honest, I don't actually have any liquids on my table currently. So let me go quickly grab something. <laughs> Thank you, Yaku. Did you celebrate Christmas this weekend, Yaku? What did your family eat? Was there something special? Okay, I am back with water. Thank you for the hydrates. We can do this. Hi back. GG's. Here goes. 
Are you studying it? Oh wait, you said you were gonna go eat, huh? I don't know which one's worse. You going in five minutes? Ah. That's okay then. Oh, did we pick up a health there? Oh, I didn't get to pick up that other orb. Damn it. You can't study after eating or you'll throw up? Is it that bad? <laughs> or is it that bad to study? Didn't do much. That was about it. There was a lot of food. You didn't eat much. You're on a on a liquid diet, so you're okay at the moment, Yaku. Is it um is it still your teeth? I think it was your teeth, right? You had to go to the dentist recently. I don't really celebrate Christmas, so like I'm asking people, but it's kind of just like a <laughs> like a formality kind of. So if you don't celebrate or whatever, I'm largely asking because I'm nosy. When you study about the femoral artery and it, and its surroundings, is that in the leg? Was that it? Because the femur is one of your bones, isn't it? I don't know. Christmas is just another day for you, exactly. But um, that's why I keep asking people, like, or I keep saying, as long as you had good food and good company, that's all that really mattered, regardless of what kind of day it is. I just wanna. Ah, shit, man. I didn't want to fight this guy. Oh, next to the genitals? <laughs> you don't want to... You don't want to be a part of that, Hassan? Oop. Teeth are getting worse. Oh, I see. Yeah, grinding your teeth, especially like doing it in your sleep, because you're not always aware of it, can be quite bad. You're going back to the dentist on the sick. I hope they can help you, because yeah, that sounds quite difficult. You don't want to see pictures or check it for someone, especially female patients. <laughs> you're too shy. <laughs> I mean, you might have to, depending on what kind of doctor you become. You might have to just, um... Unfortunately for you, Hassan, you might just have to get used to it. Which sounds like a mean thing to say. Oh? Hello? Lord, Lord Drippy. Drippy of the Furries <laughs> donated. $25. Listen, Yuritato. Not gonna lie. Saddened you're making fun of me. But I know you don't mean it. Anyways, stay fabulous. Drippy out moon. Tidy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Drippy, Lord of the Fairies, for the doodles. <laughs> did, it, did it actually say tidy at the end? <laughs> Drippy out, man. Tidy. <laughs> oh, man. That was very well done. Thank you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, thank you, I really appreciate that. <laughs> I 
basically just had roast lamb and hang out with your fam. Oh! Is that just... Man, that sounds tasty as fuck. Four pieces of meat, then it hurts. Ah, at least you got to eat some meat, right? <laughs> I think that's quite nice. Um, I don't know, did Llama... Did Llama ever say... I was curious about... Um, what kind of food people eat for Christmas or like any kind of special holidays. It used to be my favorite thing to ask my students. Um, every time there was like a festival or like a Chinese holiday, I'd be like, oh, so what did your family eat? You know, what's special? What's special for your family? Um, and I really want to try a mooncake. I know they're supposed to be like super sweet and rich. Maybe not, uh, not easy to find in South Africa or at least for me as a as a white person who doesn't know shit about shit, but they always look so beautiful. I'm very curious about them and their fillings as well. You have to do it for the OSC exam. Oh, Hassan, good luck. Hope your studies go well and thank you for the lurkies. Your, tenari your friend got Tenaria 65 and then Ayato had hard pity. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I mean, he did come home with a friend, right? It's just not in the way we wanted, I guess. You're gonna send a picture? Oh my god, yes. I actually forgot to take picture of my Christmas lunch. <laughs> um, I had I had roast chicken, uh, gammon, uh, roast potatoes, rice, and roast vegetables. So like pretty standard, like nothing too fancy. Um, but oh, I was asking about desserts. Oh wait, this is where I'm supposed to be going. I don't want to go here yet. I was still looking. There was a blue chest somewhere that I wanted to find. And I remember it was up. Rice? Yeah. I feel like, at least in South Africa, rice is pretty standard. We can do this. Like, almost always, we would have rice and potatoes, which is overkill, right? But our family always did it. I don't know, maybe it's not very standard, but that's what my family did. <laughs> you had to have rice and roast potatoes. You didn't have to eat both, but it would both be on the table. Use the gifts of plenty. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, that Tainari emote, you like it a lot, hooded. Um, okay, so where was that path? I know these things are just gonna keep respawning. Oh, goddammit. This kid does not run very fast. Mooncake is only for the moon festival? Yeah. But it's something that I've always wanted to try. Just wouldn't know where to get it. The Asian grocers, definitely, but I always feel bad, because I'm just like, what if I buy it, someone else can't buy it? Like, I'm taking it away from someone else. And I'd rather not, because culturally it's not important for me, but maybe for other people. <laughs> rice and potatoes are the two best ingredients, right? I love me some carbs. You almost never ate rice, your mom doesn't- oh, I mean, fair. <laughs> my, my family always had both together. So that was like pretty normal. Um, oh, there's Llama's pictures. Ooh. So. You didn't go. That's not going crazy. My goodness. Are oh, those Brussels sprouts? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't remember the last time I ate Brussels sprouts. I miss them. But I know not a lot of people like them. Also, hi, Spawn! You had mobile pudding, trifle, ice cream, and peppermint crisp tart? Damn, Yaku, that's a lot. We literally had peppermint crisp tart, and there was ice cream, but I didn't eat the two together. Thank you for the Loki's hooded. Have a lovely, lovely day. Good luck with your planning, by the way. Um, Do you like rice, Puggy? I love rice. I could eat a bowl of rice. Just, just plain rice. 
like okay so it's at the top there I'm gonna go look it wasn't this way was it or was it shit oh uh, yeah yeah this is the right way <laughs> what are those eyes up there did you guys see them look <laughs> I wonder what that is. Yeah, yeah, let's go, buddy. You have two pots of cooked rice right now. Do you want to bring me some, please? I mean, I have a rice cooker, so I could make my own quite easily. But it's not quite the same as when someone else makes it for you, right? Hit pets out of stock. <laughs> but imagine I just redeemed it. Thank you. Rice is only optional in Briani. It is? Man. Rice rice goes with everything. Like I said, I would eat a, an entire bowl of rice just by itself. I typically cook rice without salt just because I used to give some of it to Sky sometimes. Not a lot, but I didn't want any added salt for him. But typically, if you make like a curry or something, that's got all the flavor anyway, so the rice doesn't really need anything. Okay, so I needed to go up here and then back. Yeah, I thought so. I should have gone this way first. Because I even looked at it and I was like, ah, uh, I'll come back. Silly bugger. Don't know what the blue chest has, but it seems fancier than the red chest, so. Sealed! Oh, I'm gonna scream, bro. I came all the way back to get fucking laughed at by the game. <laughs> Wanted to bake bread for lunch. Didn't have enough time. I mean, it sounds like you had lots of food. I don't know if you guys saw, but um, Scariest Llama posted in the IRL Picks channel, and I'm hungry all over again. Man. Oh, is that mashed potatoes? Oh my god. Would would kill a man for that right now. Potatoes, potato. Well, like Hooded said, potatoes, potatoes and rice, best. The style of game works well. This was a PS3 title, but still looks good. Yeah, I think the it it aged well because. There's like a lot of clutter and whatever, but it doesn't look bad. Like some older games sometimes do. You did a label? T did you? <laughs> so... I always forget, are they called Yorkshire puddings? The little like, uh... I don't want to say pastry, but words are failing me currently. It's not really a thing in South Africa. Yeah? No, Llama. I, I don't know why. Like, I've, I've had them before. I think... When I visited my family, we might have had. But that was... Um... 12 years ago, so I don't remember. <laughs> Are they hard to make, Llama? Or is it something that you'd buy? Because I wouldn't mind learning how to make it. But I have never even looked, to be honest. Just because it's not really a thing in South Africa. But, um... I know it's I know it's a staple. That and copious amounts of gravy. At least at least in, in England. Um because I picked up that that copious amounts of gravy thing from my family. I fucking love gravy, man. On your mashed potatoes, on your rice, on the meat, on the vegetables. If uh if there's no threat of drowning, there's not enough gravy. Mrs. Llama made some the next day. Oh, really? You can buy them frozen? Holy shit. 
Someone's coming. It's him. It's the flipping guardian. Shit, bitch. I don't remember this at all. Oh. Little whippy whoppers. Whatever they were called. Flippy floppers. Holy shit. Oh. <gasps> Why you hit the baby? How rude. I have played it before. I played it when it came out. What feels like a hundred years ago. And, um... I never got to finish it because I moved out of my father's house and therefore did not have a PlayStation. Whoopsie. I wonder... Oh, what the heck, man? How am I supposed to- Get away from this guy. Oh, maybe when he does that. Nice. Fireball! Yeah, that does some good damage. Ooh, there's mana. Uh-oh. Yeah? Ow. What the fuck? Defending against big moves like that. You earn a bonus. Ah. So yeah, I did play this. Oh, but it was a long time ago. No, 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 no. Oh, there's another mana. What the heck, is it? Is it fucking drippy? Just throwing shit around. The thing is, like, I feel like I was young when this came out. Well, not young, but like <laughs> younger and not very smart at games. Now's your chance to give him a proper walloping. Yes, let's go. Just fireball his ass. That didn't do any more damage. No, no, no. Thank you, Drippy. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I feel like he's a lot better at this than... <gasps> Whoops! That is not what I meant to do at all. Tidy! That's a gold glim, man. That little beauty will restore your HP for you. Oh, yeah? It'll let you do a miracle move that doesn't... Oh! Hurry up and grab it. Where the fuck is it, mate? It's literally under the boss. Man's, man's just out here trying to get me killed. Ah! The sheer Omdam City. This, this asshole McFucked me. Unbelievable. I'm gonna die. Cause this guy's like, oh yeah, go get the gold thing. As I got there, it just flew into the fucking sky. Un unbelievable. <laughs> uh, I can't believe he's done this. Come on, Drippy. What? Get him. No more windfall, you. I feel like killing the, the forest guardian is a bit harsh, though. Surely he performs a necessary role in the ecosystem. I don't know. Call me crazy. Spirit of the Woods. We really did kill him. God damn. GG's reached level 6. Nice. You obtained a page describing the Guardian of the Woods. Dead. You should just write that straight over the drawing. Dead. We murdered him. Oh, no, he's okay. Never mind, we're good. Not that I set him on fire 20 times or anything. Crikey, that was a close run thing. <laughs> it's because you told me to go after the gold orb, you asshole. He headed towards the deepest part of the wood. Do you think he's back to normal now? 
Your guess is as good as mine, man. But that weird look in his eyes is, has gone at least. Had gone? I can't read. I reckon he'll probably take some time to get out of his... Time out to get his head together and then he'll be right back to the old guardianing. That's a word. What made him go all screwy like that? You don't think it was? Of course it flipping was! Had Shadar written all over it. We'd best watch our backs if we visit any more forests. Saying that, you get guardians everywhere. Anyway, we did what we came to do. We'd best get back to see old tree face. This drippy's got no respect. Absolutely none. Not a single fuck was given. He's he's the cheekiest little shit. Mm. You did well to calm the guardian of the woods. And I found what I was looking for. But first, a gift. By way of thanks. Gee. You were on a roll, by your man. <laughs> I trust to you one of my closest companions, the Telling Stone. Oh. His knowledge of our world arrives even my own. I thought he might help you on your journey. I'm sure if you ask. Why does it look like I have to answer a riddle before he'll give me answers? You anything you wish to know. And the other thing, the locket. This is what you came here for, is it not? It is a vessel for fragments of the human heart. To rescue the heartbroken, you will need the locket and the spells required to use it. I will give you those as well. Thank you so much, Old Father Oak. Hmm. Such a well-mannered child. I wonder if those suspenders give him a wedgie. Well, I, all right, all right. Ta, back face. Hmm. Some things are as unchanging as the forest. No matter. You had best be on your way. Now, <laughs> boy, you must come and see me from time to time. It's Tar like thanks. Of your travels. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Let's be off, shall we? Um. Time to head back to Ding Dong Dell and mend a broken heart. Okay. Um, I don't think it was when I was younger, but with my little sister, it's kind of like give or take. Yeah, it's not a thing here. At least I don't think it is. Um, so like for little kids, if you're trying to give them something, you say ta, and that means take it, and then, um, oh, I had don't have any... Do I have any food? Ta but pardon. Um Ah I know I had other foods. Uh, oh these are for the creatures, not for me, never mind. <laughs> Guess I might as well. Just in case I do need to fight, and then I can have one of these. It should be fine. You, you're getting discharged? Do they... Do they figure things out, Miki? Like... Is it more stable now? Are you fine? <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, like, for a little kid, you'll be like, ta. And it's either take or give. So if I have something, it means take it. If they have something, it means give. I still say it now, like to adults. I'll be like, ta. To be like, here, take it. Or like, give. Pass over. I don't know where I picked that up. Because I don't think I said it when I was a kid. But, like, with my little sister. I learned it with her. I guess because her mom said it to her. It's not Welsh. But how Welsh folk use the English language. But is mate. <laughs> You're just going around calling each other butts. Glad I glad I used my food earlier. Cool. Did I get a spell for opening? Hmm. <laughs> All right, but <laughs> um, yeah, why not? Let's do it. 
So out of curiosity, did kids ever call each other buttheads? Whoa, so much damage. Damn. Mateheads. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even try and, like, um, do accents. Because one, I know it would be really bad. And two, I feel like an asshole, so... <laughs> um... Imagine we'd use something stronger. Oh! Let's do it! Because, like, yeah... I feel like, um... Tato accent redeems? No, I can't though. Sorry, Ray was just, as, as you probably heard, closing the door. <laughs> Um, because he just got back. And Sky is no longer sitting in my room. Now I'm confused. Where the fuck was I supposed to go? Did I go the wrong way? God damn it. To say I'm directionally challenged is a wild understatement. But that's why it would be good. Oh man. It would be bad. It would be super bad. Come on. I like to think that's his primary objective. Oops. At X o'clock, Ray closes doors. That's just what he does. <laughs> it was more like he, he went to go get his car washed because it was dirty from the Kruger. Um, I still need to show you guys the pictures from that. I need to find out if they're going to get posted on Facebook or if I just need to go through WhatsApp, but um, yeah, his car got really dirty from the Kruger, so he went to go get it washed, which means he left my door open so if Sky needed anything, he could come bug me. But he did sleep for like most of the time Ray was out anyway. Also, it is spelled with an E, but I don't think it matters too much to be honest, because it's, you know, it's just a gamer tag. It's not his actual name, but I, I've accidentally called him Ray to his family. <laughs> and I can't remember what I said, but I said something like... I can't remember what it was, but it was, it was like a weird thing to say about a weird person. Like a stranger. And so his sister turns to me and, and she's like, Ray, who's Ray? <laughs> As if to say like, who the fuck? And I was like, oh no, that's just Ray's, Ray's like online name. Oh, there's two of them. What the fuck? We can do this. I don't know if we can, buddy. Get him. Whoop. Rest in peepers, man. Ah, oh, give me the orbs, you bastard. But in any case, the door was open simply because, uh, because he wasn't home. And, uh, Sky, Sky can be a little bit needy. Understandable. Um. Alright, this place is far. Oh, what's this thing? Minor bird? <laughs> You might be too young to have played it. Jade Cocoon. I would have to Google it. Man, I'm still thinking about the food. <laughs> I still had the picture open, so I just kept periodically looking over at it. Jade Cocoon. It doesn't sound familiar at all. Did you ever play Jazz Jackrabbit? Because I spoke to someone who's basically my age, and they didn't know what it was. 
Oh, so I actually didn't have a PlayStation 1 growing up. It looks like it's a PlayStation 1 game. Um, hi, Jargon. Good morning. It's very early for you to be awake. Unless you're working. Are you working this week? Um, but yeah, I didn't have a PlayStation 1. I sometimes borrowed someone else's, but there was like not many games that I had. Uh, I played, um, Come on! Oh, I bought it recently on Steam. What was it called? Uh, Abe's. Abe's Odyssey? Abe's Oddworld? Something like that? You guys know what I'm talking about. Yes, it was Abe's. Okay. I bought that. Um, or rather, I rented it from the... Uh, what did we call it? Um, it became DVD shop when my little sister was born, but... Um, or DBD, because she didn't say DVD, she said DBD. Uh, was it the video? I think it was the video store we called it, but anyway. I used to just rent games from there because I didn't have the console, so I didn't want to buy any games. I think the first console I had was a PlayStation 2. You've never played any Abe's? Oh, I was a like puzzle platformer. Looks like he's still the worst for wear, huh? Is this what you 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 sound like, the slama? To Gonna pretend I don't know what you sound like. Boy, I better explain how it's done then, innit? First thing you'll need to do is to take the locket Treeface gave you and fill it with the piece of heart our friend is missing. Uh, the piece of heart? That's right. One of the bits <laughs> we're all made up of deep down. The bits we're made up of? I did not know you were Welsh, though. Mm. But okay, the Welsh okay. people that I do I know sound nothing like up, this. Man. First off, what that guard's missing uh, is a drop of good old-fashioned enthusiasm. Uh, Find like you said, to him just a very strong accent, I guess. Okay. Um... But what do I find in Working these? every week? Oh man. Wait, do you not get time off over Christmas? Blockbuster? I don't know if I was with Blockbuster. You played one on a PlayStation demo disc? Uh, man, I love the demo discs. Because... Um, as a kid, you know... You didn't really follow the story at all. And you could play the same stage over and over again and not get bored of it. <laughs> well, that was just me, I don't know. Like like a, like a young kid, like primary school age. Most companies don't. In South Africa, it's pretty standard for like companies to close over this time but i think Tidy. because of your you kind of work jargon maybe it's a little bit different no you just got to give it to our friend over by there okay here goes <laughs> south wales more english sounding west and north and the valleys in between sometimes you might not be able to tell it if someone's speaking Welsh or English. <laughs> That's the place I'd want to go. <laughs> um, so, I don't really know the, my mother's side of the family really well. Because she didn't really talk about her family at all. But I had an aunt who was basically... It was impossible to understand what she was saying. I'm pretty sure they were Irish. But I... Because... Okay. They have to be, right? Because my sister got an Irish passport. Because my grandmother... But my grandmother didn't have an accent that I remember, and she used to talk to me. What the fuck, Drippy? Did you guys see his tongue? God damn. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we had a. I think it was like, it was either my grandmother's. No, it can't be my grandmother's aunt. She was old as fuck though. I think it was my mother's aunt because it was my great aunt. Is that how that works? In any case. I, ha I had no idea what she was saying ever. Her accent was so thick. But I was such a young kid that, honestly, it didn't matter. It's not like we were going to be having uh, engaging discussions either way. But, who oh lord. Give I can't give heart. Do I have to speak first? 
Bro, that's what I tried. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh. Okay. Almost no companies here. Do it. Except for like some tech companies. Really? That's so bizarre to me. I think the only companies here that don't have like some time off would be like like service industry or like ones that pay you really badly. Tidy. What's happening? Where am I? Also, that nose well, piece looks well, like a well, penis. You're back with us, I see. Yes, I, I feel so strange, as if a weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel better. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I was worried about you. I'm sorry, I wasn't myself. But I'm back now, and ready to work harder than ever. Well then, these fine people have all come to visit our great kingdom. I think we'd better let them in. This is the one with the rats, right? Indeed I'm pretty sure had. it is. <laughs> this way, everybody! Even though they got penis noses. Ding dong. <laughs> Ding dong doorman. Uh, I can't thank you enough, but I'm sure you'll receive your fair share of merit stamps for performing such a heroic feat. Was it really? Merit stamps? What are those? You mean you help me without even thinking of the merit stamps you'd earned? You do have a merit stamp card, don't you? They're used to collect stamps awarded for helping those in need. Shit, bitch. If you don't have one, you should visit Swift Solutions in town and pick one up. Listen to me rabbiting- rabbiting on! I have to get this gate open. That's what you're waiting for, isn't it? Yes, please, sir. Tidy, we can finally go inside. Tart is done. Oh! What did you make, um, Yoda, my brain? We're finally here! We're finally in Ding Dong Dell! Indeed we are, Ollie boy. There were a few unseen snags on the way, I'll admit. But all's well that ends well, and uh, I was just going to take you to see old Treeface eventually. Anyway, righto, on with the one hunt. The king of this place knows a spell or two. Let's see if he can help us, shall we? A real life king? Sure. I guess that means we should head for that big old palace over there, huh? Huh? Oh, Peppermint Crisp? Okay, I thought... You know, you're not the first person to mention it today. That's why I was unsure if I'd spoken to you about it. <laughs> or someone else. Oh, is she a kitty cat? She is proprietor. That's cute as hell. But uh, yeah, a classic, classic dessert, peppermint crisp tart. Um. Yeah, that's what we had for Christmas. Oh, hello. That's what we had for Christmas. Put in. Put puts. Oh, the fuck. Oh, I see. That's to the sewers where the rats are. We have to go bop the rats. I was going to try making milk tart, but no ingredients. Ah. Uh... Jeepers. It's so different. Stop staring, man. It's rude. <laughs> but look at those goofy clothes. Wow. Goofy? Are you blind? You are the goofy one around these parts. Huh? Ah. Cranky, we better get you a new outfit before they put you in the zoo. <laughs> Time to walk the dog. Ah, oh, enjoy, enjoy. Tara, but gonna call you scariest butt now. Have a good walkies. I hope it's not too cold. I've never made milk tart, to be honest, or peppermint crisp tart, to be fair. None of the none of the South African classics. My family wasn't very big on baking. 
I'm sorry, Ollie Boy, but no matter how trendy they are over in Motorville, your clothes are just plain out of place over here. Over by here. Oh God, I can't read. Are they really so strange? But this is all I have. Then we'll just have to buy <laughs> buy you some more, won't we? There's loads of shops here in Ding Dong Del. One of them must sell clothes. A store where I can buy a new outfit. Are we doing that before we go to the king? He's got a bigger nose. <laughs> it's like a third of his body is just nose. You hate putting your duvet cover back on after washing it? Puggy, did you see that video? Wait, let me just send it to you. You might have seen it. I'm gonna send it to you on Instagram. This is how I put dupes back on. I hate that Instagram never changes the order, or like it weirdly changes the order of people you send messages to. Because I'm messaging Puggy all the damn time and she's still somewhere like in the middle of the list instead of being at the top. And I'm just like, but why? Anyway, you just stopped using an uncovered duvet like savages. Oh my goodness. Cover your duve, man. She looks like an owl. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you sell clothes from this world? I mean, do you sell regular clothes? Clothes, dear? Oh, hoot. She is an owl. I'm afraid we don't have any in stock at the moment. Don't- Oh! Hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni, chilling with the homies. Chicky wing, chicky wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni, chilling with the homies. Welcome, homies. Hey, 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 chicken and macaroni, chilling with the homies. Welcome, welcome. How was your stream? You're playing Minecraft? Of course, of course. Welcome to the posse. Thank you, Arsenic, for the follow. How was your stream? What did you get up to today? If you do need to raid and run, I 100% understand. I also want to make sure that I'm saying your name correctly. Is it like... Leonie? Because, girl, I saw you posted on Twitter about the, the pronunciation of your name, and I don't want to say it wrong. Hi, Lucy! Chilling with the homies, of course. All the homies are here now. But yeah, I hope you had fun. I know that um, you do some crazy builds in Minecraft as well. I am very noob when it comes to Minecraft, so I can't even comprehend the things that you make. But it's very nice to see like when you post on, on the tweeters. But yes, what is, this, uh, what is this lady saying? It was good until the connection to the server died. Oh no, you couldn't get back in? Shit. I haven't played Minecraft, like, properly since they made Skeleton Smart, which was several years ago at this point. So, <laughs> I haven't played it in a very long time. Uh, don't tell us that, man. Have you seen how the boy is dressed? He's a flippin' embarrassment. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you used to do it with Cohen, but now you're all alone. So what you do is you put, because I have to do it alone sometimes as well. You put the dude on the bed, right? And you put the corners where you know they will be. And then you grab the corners and you do the old flipperoos. You love Minecraft too much, but you're bad at it. You can't be bad at Minecraft. I mean, maybe like the, the insane builds, the like hectic builds. But like... For the survival part, I think. That part's not too bad. You haven't built properly in a while, but you got some plans. Oh, shit! I hope you posted on Twitter's. Leone? Leo Leone? Well, the N-E is Ne, yeah? Okay. I hope I said that correctly. Sorry if I said it wrong. I'll go and reread your tweet. <laughs> your brother's a bud. You thought the internet went down? Your brother turned off the router. <laughs> Call him a chop. 
He's the choppiest chop that ever chopped. He's getting funny looks wherever we go. My street cred is in ruins. Oh, a fairy. No worries. Uh, but yeah, thank you again so much for the raid and, and welcome to all the raiders. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Nat or Tato, variety streamer from South Africa. I am currently playing Nino Kuni, uh, but I do play a lot of Genshin Impact as well. I also sometimes do face cam streams. It has been a while. Um, and I'll do like cosplay streams every now and then. I'm hoping in the new year I can get my shit sorted and I can make it more consistent. You underestimate under my lack of any gaming ability. But Puggy, you're always playing games. I remember the one time we went out somewhere and you were buying like, uh, I think you were buying like an Xbox game or something. And I was taken aback because I was like, you play games? <laughs> I was like in shock. And you just looked at, you just like turned around and looked at me and then continued with whatever you were doing. I was stunned, let me tell you. I couldn't believe it. Because I don't think you'd ever spoken about games until that moment. And I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> she plays games. <laughs> you called him a lot of inappropriate things. Understandable. Oh, nice to meet you too, Arsenic. How are you doing? Uh, what does it say? Yeah, I used to see your kind all the time. But I'll bet children these days don't even know who you are. Because she's an owl. You're telling me, kids these days, man. Disrespectful, ignorant, downright rude. Listen, Drippy's the rude one, actually. They wouldn't know a fairy if it kicked them in the flippin' shins. Not like you, eh, missus? No, about these clothes. Yes, dear. Who? Let me think now. Ah, uh, now I come to think of it. There was a traveler who left a set of clothes here once upon a time. Yeah, I'm doing good, Arsenic. Also, uh, Castillo? Castillo? Thank you, thank you for being here with us. I hope you have fun. He'd bought a new outfit, you see, so he left his old one behind. Roughly human-shaped, is it? And cheap, I shouldn't doubt. Tidy, we'll take it. But Mr. Drippy! Yes, yes, now I remember. He was the one who... Yes, he said they were very special clothes, made from fabric woven from the fibers of the sky tree, if I remember rightly. Oh, her name's Hootenanny. <laughs> I just saw that now. Lovely and comfy, extremely hard-wearing, and lucky to hoot. I think the only problem would be the size. If it's you who are going to wear this outfit, dear, I'll meet... It's bananas! <laughs> that gave me such a fright. <laughs> oh fuck, I just bumped my <laughs> controller. Uh, it would look huge on you otherwise. Could you come back tomorrow morning? Of course we can, man, but oh, oh, how's about that then, Ollie boy? There's Lucky. Neato! Thank you very much, ma'am. Hoo hoo hoo, a pleasure, my dear. Toodle hoo for now until tomorrow. Gonna lurkies, no worries, Juggin. Is it breakfast time? It's too fucking early, man. Tomorrow's flipping ages away, man. I'd like to go and see the king right away, like, but we can't go until we've got your outfit sorted. Okay. What will we do? The Garden Gate said something about us getting some kind of card. Alright. Oh, something Solutions. I think he said the name of the shop was uh, the one that we just went in, the Hootique. That's the owl one. Was it uh, Swift Solutions? There's Clever Review. Oh, there's a cat. Cat person. That's the one. I knew it was some other kind of bird. Nice one, Ollie boy. The stores sure do have goofy names. Oh, look how cute it is. <laughs> <laughs> You reckon? They're just named after what they look like. Oh. Oh my god, it's it's actually an owl. Let's get over to the solutions. I want to see this whole building. Release me. That is cute as hell. Okay, cool. Huh. And this is a swift then, I guess? They just, they, they just live peacefully with these cat people. I mean, not that I think you should be living any other way with cat people, but I'm just surprised. 
Nothing to steal in their garden, damn it. Why do they have gardens if not full of things for me to steal from? Alright. Tack Master, welcome to Swift Solutions, where those in need come to watch their worries fly away. That's kind of cute. And where those who are feeling helpful agree to perform tasks on their behalf. What sort of task do you mean? You honestly don't know? Dear me, you really are new to this, aren't you? Well, I shall swallow my amazement <laughs> and explain. Uh, folks who are in need of assistance flock to me, hoping to find someone willing to take on their errands for them. On your travels, you're bound to run into people who are looking for help. And you'll have to decide whether or not to soothe their fluttering hearts by taking on the tasks they set you. Uh, have a look at the errand board over there and you'll see a, a list of tasks that you can take on. Swift Solutions, you can also agree to undertake missions to eliminate specific monsters. These are known as bounty hunts. Take a look in your journal. Okay. Merit stamp cards. That is swiftly remedied. <laughs> You'll need it to collect stamps when you complete tasks. Once you've filled up a few cards, you can exchange them for merit awards. Ah. Visit the nearest branch, hand over, and the awards will be yours. Okay. Before we make a start on all that do goodery, we need to get you dressed for the job. Now, the hoot nanny said your outfit would be ready tomorrow, so I reckon the best plan of action is to go and get a good night's sleep at the cat's cradle. Oh, I think I went into that earlier. Let's have a look at this. Can we look at this? Oh! Can I just... Oh, they get added to the journal, okay. That's fine. Is this the mother? Goodness me, wherever have those little rascals run off to now? Is something the matter, ma'am? It's my boys, the three of them are forever running off and not coming back. I know they're just playing, but I can't help thinking they'll hurt themselves. You worry about them a lot, huh? Yes, I do, and today we're even late. They're even later than ever. I'm beside myself. Hmm. You outies, no worries. Have a lovely, lovely day, and thank you again so much for the raid. A mother's life is never easy, no matter where you go. <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay, so those are the other people who need help. Let's go see what this one was. The little like plop 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 plop. Oh, that's what a grimalkin is. Meow. Which pot did I put it in again? Is everything okay? It's my precious treasure, you see. I can't remember which pot I hid it in. Gee, that's tough. What sort of treasure is it? My grandmother's red earring. It's such a pretty color. You couldn't lend me a paw and help me look for it, could you? Of course. Cute little putty. It's in one of those pots you see around town. You're a perfect gentleman. That's cute as fuck. Okay, so... We'll just keep an eye out for pots. Can't go up this way here. Nope. Game says nope. Ah! Nope. That is distinctly not an earring. That is a bread. Poor Drippy's just like booking it after me. Hmm. That ain't it.
And this sneaky little spot. Oh! Cha chang! Not me trying to look for like secret, secret treasures and shit. Where is this girlie's earring though? Because I've looked at all the parts I could find. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to this lady, see what she needs. What does she want? She wants flowers. To oh, I need to bring specific stuff. Ah, yes, telling me about loot on the ground. Um, okay, so I need more of this and more of that. That makes sense. Okay. Hmm. I just haven't seen too many of those pots. Whoa, where the heck am I? Oh? chest very potent magic oh is this one of the kids what's cracking homie wow it hurts oh look poor Deb's gone and hurt himself must be one of the ladies lost boys we better patch him up what can we do we don't we don't have a brain apparently <laughs> For crying out loud, man, I'm only gonna tell you this once, right? Healing touch, man, got it? Flippin' hot flippin' touch. Healing flippin' touch, my bad. I don't know why that wasn't the first option. Your poor mother's worried sick about you. Get on home. But wasn't there three boys? Is it. Do I have, still have to find the other boys then? Hi Rich, is this game good? Yes. Today is a fine day for mouse thwacking. The only problem is what to thwack them with. Okay, guy, relax. Um, yeah, it's a... I played it a long time ago when it first came out. This is the remastered one, but I played it a long time ago. Really enjoyed it. Oh, I have to find all three of them? Goddamn, okay. That's the kitty lady, that's the other kitty lady, and that's where I need to go. I just haven't seen any other pots. Where's this daft woman gone and lost this earring? <gasps> Is it here? That's a f That's an ice cream. Oh! There's a green chest down there. How... How do? Do I have to go through the house? Can I? Wow, nice outfit. Where did you get that? Lol. I stole it. Can't go that way. But yes, Rich, it is a really good game. Very interesting story. Music and animation is amazing. Oh, 
wasn't anything up this way here. Hmm. I wonder, is there more to the city? <gasps> nope. I wonder if any of these people have pet cats and if they have to resist the urge to pet the humanoid cats. Oh, thank God. Okay, we found the earring. Nice. Okay, that's one problem solved. Oh! Who are these people just leaving chests laying around? And there's the next little boy. Ah, I fell over and grazed my knee. Ow. Hey now, don't cry. Let me fix you up. Y'all are wasting my mana, let me tell you. Get home. All better. Your mother's worried sick about you. Run along home now. That's a good lad. <laughs> you little shits. Get the fuck out of here. A slice of pie does not seem like the kind of thing you want to find in a jar. Oh! <gasps> Hello? What's up, Pokemon? You look a bit pale. You're giving this to me? Spirit medium? Fancy that. That's a page from the wizard's companion, that is. What's this little squirt doing with it? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Do you think he can't speak? Nah, that's not it, man. If I'm not very much mistaken. Yep, must be. Hmm? Did you figure something out, Mr. Drippy? That spell he just gave you? Give it a try, Ollie boy, and you'll see. Um. Oops. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, guys, my mana. Thank goodness it worked. Jeepers creepers, you can talk. <laughs> of course I can talk, silly. You cast spirit medium on me, didn't you? So that's what it does, huh? You mean to tell me you cast a spell without knowing what it did? What kind of wizard are you? <laughs> For future reference, spirit medium lets you talk to the spooky spirits of the dead, like me. So I was right, you're a flippin' ghost, ain't it? A g ghost Jeepers! You mean to tell me the ghosts really exist? Of course they do, wizards see them all the time. I was a wizard once too, you know. But thanks to that idiot, the Dark Djinn, there aren't too many wizards left. So when I saw you, I thought I'd better hand that page over. You're the first wizard I've seen in I don't know how long. Jeepers, can I really keep it? What's the ghost going to do with it? <laughs> of course, it's the least I can do to say thanks for looking after my book. Your book? Nah, you got your wires crossed, sunshine. That's our book, that is. Who are you, anyway? Me? I'm Horace, although you probably know me better as the Sage of Ages. Hang on a sec, you want us to believe a little midget like you is the Sage of Flippin' Ages? Um, uh, who are you calling? You see, that's an offensive word these days. I wonder if it was okay back in the day. That's a little bit less okay now. Pipsqueak. I'm a fairy, ain't it? I'm supposed to be the size. Cheeky little. You're called Ollie, are you? And you're on a journey in our world? Uh, yeah. Hmm, maybe I'll go on a little journey myself. I haven't taken a look around our world for a long time. Has he just been sitting here the whole time? Right, I'm heading south to the desert. Hopefully we'll meet again at the town down there. See you soon! Bye! Bye, Felicia! Cool, okay. So I'm still looking for one kid. This kid still hasn't gone home. We're looking for one kid. We got the earring. What was the other thing I needed? Flowers, but I need to go into the plains for that, right? 
I did go up there. Hey. It's not exactly um, riveting gameplay completing these tasks. Oh, wait, come here. Meow! Meow, my! You got it! You got my earring! That's perfect! Just perfect! You found it for me! We should sure it! Don't lose it again now, okay? I promise I will, I'll never lose it again. Oh, here. Yeah. This is a present for you. Thank you so much. A leafy mantle. And 50 schmackaroos. Thanks. Nice. What did she give me? Cloak made from soft green leaves provides protection for the elements. Along with a soothing aroma. I want to use it, but... Who did I- can I put it on- What? I can't use it from here, do I have to go like- Oh. I see. Ollie can't use it either, I don't know how that works. Equipment? Hmm. Doesn't show anything else. Yeah, I'm not too sure then. Okay, it's fine. We'll just leave it. As is for now. Um, this lady wanted those plants. I think that other kid's in the inn where I need to go. Let's go have a look. I just want to see, is this the shape of a cat? Mm, not really. Just gonna steal your cake, your, your pot cake. Welcome to the cat's cradle chain of premium inns. We pride ourselves on Practicality and pricing. <laughs> uh, okay, so the kid is not in here. <laughs> Drippy's face. Oh man. Can I? Can I leave? Will it let me leave? I want to see if I can go find some stuff for that lady. She wanted the some kind of weed flower thing and. And wilder. Like spring water or something? Which should just be a clicky on the ground. Sparkle. Uh oh. I was gonna say the the pig rat, but it's it's a rhino, actually. There we go. Was it not that thing? No, it's like a little orange flower. Oh, push off you. Rhino saw spanks itself. Whoa. Spicy. <laughs> also, this game is on sale at the moment, actually. I wanted to mention it before, but it's on a hell of a sale, especially like for South Africans. Because y'all know we don't really pay much for games anyway. But um, yeah, this game is on sale. It's 80% off currently. Ends on the 5th of Jan. I just want to... cha Because this is the remastered one. Uh, let's see. There. 
He's on sale. Is that big enough? Can you guys read that? It's on sale on Steam. Big recommend. You can play on controller or or keyboard. I don't know what it's like on mouse or keyboard though, to be fair. Radio then. I just need to find another sprockies on the ground. I feel like the water's gotta be near water, right? Likely not, but Okay, I can just run past some things because they like charge me and run away. <laughs> I'm not seeing no sparklies. Hello, little birdie. Come on! I actually bought this game quite a while ago. And then I kept thinking, oh yes, I need to play it, and then I just never did. Minor bird. <laughs> I want more familiars, man. I forgot how fucking cute they are. There we go, we got a flower. Okay, perfect. Okay, where's the town? Oh, okay. So we can't unrun these buggers. But that's okay. Aww. Oh, there it is. Just trying to avoid things. Ding dong deal. Because I think... Oh no, hold on, wait. I didn't get the water, did I? Oh no, I did. We're good, we're good. Okay. Perfect. I just don't know where that other kid is. I wonder if he's like in the actual sewers. Which is where we'll go later, but... Money! Boy! I'm rich, bitch! Found ten whole monies in a jar. Just sitting on the side of the, the street there. I'll take that. Mio my! You found it already? Give me my stamps. Hey <laughs> hey. A wooden shield. Nice. I can give that to my little doody. My doodly dude. Um. This one. Yeah, boy. Got some more defense. All right. I am very unsure about this last boy. It was. It was. Uh. It was three kids, right? I just want to go double check. Hi, Risu Sama. Did you finish? <laughs> oh, she does have one more. God damn it. Get your kids together, lady. Episode 19. Oh, damn. Oh, is that on the second season or is that still part of the first season? Did you sleep, Risu Sama? Oh, first season? Okay. Okay, and you did sleep. Okay, good. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't watched the second season yet, as I mentioned uh, earlier. I couldn't remember how many episodes were in the first season. And how are you enjoying it? Your custom is always appreciated. No, you look a little unusual. You're a traveler, I presume. Then I encourage you to take a nap at each of our ends, wherever your travels may take you. We're very proud of our deep and comfortable beds, and we hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Thank you very much. Eh, look at your, your wizard companion. There's something different about it. Ah, there's useful. The memories of all the travelers who've stayed here have folded back up a bit. I never expected that. 
Why the heck not, man? It's a flippin' mighty spellbook, ain't it? We'd best stay at as many of these places as we can. Huh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Um... Ten episodes? Oh, really? It hasn't finished airing yet? Okay, I don't remember when it came out, but I remember Oliver. people talking about it. Oliver? Huh? Mom? Mom! You've done so well to make it this far, Oliver. Mom? Is this... a dream? You must listen to me now, Oliver. You have to go to him. To face him. And when you do, you'll learn the truth. Promise me, no matter how hard it is. Him? Mom, who's him? Mom, what do you mean? He's someone very... important to both of us. But who is he? And where do I have to go? It's alright, sweetie. You're already on your way. Don't give up, Oliver. No matter how hard it gets. She took your drifting? New Mom! Mom! She moonwalking away from her kid. <laughs> oh, man. Let's still continue. Yeah, I hope so. I hope it's more than 10 episodes. Would you love it? Oh, man. I'm so glad to hear that. Because I really fucking enjoyed it. Morning, young man. What a perfectly fine morning it is, too. You slept well, I hope. Excellent. You'll be on your way now, I expect. Well, if you happen to... If you happen across another cat's cradle on your travels, be sure to stay with us again. Ta, missus. See you soon. Righto, Ollie boy. Back to that owl shop, innit? Okay. Mom. Yeah, why not? When last did I save? Yeah, it was actually it was it was a, a show recommended to me by another streamer that I had met because we were playing the same game, and she's very very sweet. But she just like randomly mentioned it to me, and I was like, oh okay, I'll check it out. Let me tell you, Risa Sama, I binge watched that shit. <laughs> I binge watched it. I cried so much. I'm a crybaby though, so, you know. But it was so good. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the second season. But only 10 episodes. I might wait a little bit longer for more to come out. Oh, you're also a crybaby? Hey, you've been crying. <laughs> that made me cry so much. It was so sad. But like, kind of cathartic in a way as well. Hoo-hoo, there you are, dearie. You'll be happy to hear your clothes already. She didn't even measure me, though, so I'm curious how she got the measurements right. Tidy, best try them on then, eh, Ollie, Ollie boy. I'll just pop and get them for you, dear. Wait, wait there. I shan't be a moment. Yes, ma'am, thank you very much. Anything that has emotional scenes? You cry a lake. Oh, that's trendy. You look proper sharp, Ollie boy. You cry at sloppy American Idols editions. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, okay, I, everything makes me cry, but like... I don't know. That, that anime... That anime... I wasn't expecting it, I guess. And it just hit me like hard and fast and I was just like, what's happening? But it felt good to cry about it. <laughs> if that makes sense. Isn't it a little goofy? I mean, a cape? Don't be silly, dear. It hoots you down to the ground. Oh, it, like suits you? Did you just hear a Scottish accent? You didn't, Lulu. This is a Welsh, apparently. Thank you very much, ma'am. How much do we owe you? For those old things, don't be silly, dear. You'd be doing me a huge favor just taking them off my hands. Really? You sure? Hoo hoo hoo! I can't remember the last time I did any sewing. It was an absolute hoot, dear. Think nothing of it. All I ask is that you pop back and buy a little something from time to time. You'll do that for me, won't you, dear? Of course we will. Thanks, missus. You're lucky, Ollie boy. Looks like we owe this place another visit or three. 
Oh, Lulu, be nice. I was, so Muk and I were talking earlier. And just based off the Welsh accents that we know. It sounds like a Welsh person trying to do a Scottish accent. And both of us thought it sounded really weird. Until a Welsh person in chat was like, no, this is Welsh. And I was just like, what? <laughs> you have ADHD and Tourette's. Does that make you very emotional, Rusu Sama? If you don't mind me asking. I'm not very familiar with, uh, with Tourette's. Now you've got some dapper duds we can head up to the palace. Tidy. Time to go meet the king, huh? I'm kind of nervous. Um. Yeah, it was just that other kid. I reckon the other kids in the, the sewers, though. Because he wasn't anywhere else, and that's the only place we haven't been to. Not really a place for kids to go to, but you know. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think there was anyone else here. <gasps> Pigeons! The, the floor is pretty cool. Hi guys. I'm just gonna slink on past. Never mind. Apologies, but everyone in the palace is busy trying to find the king's red herring. Nani. Welcome to Ding Dong Dell. This is the road that leads to the royal palace. You're travelers, I take it. You must be in those clothes. Yes, we've come to see the king. Ah, you're after an audience with King Tom, are you? Is the king a cat? He has to be, right? I'd be more than happy to let you through, but I'm afraid that's just not possible at the moment. Huh? But why? One of the king's hapless aides has allowed his meow justice, beloved petfish to escape into the palace moat. <laughs> that red herring is the king's pride and joy and a highly endangered species to boot. I doubt his meow justice would be able to replace this one if he were to lose it. What that aide of his was thinking, I don't know. Hi, hero! You can see buy it at the bottom right. Yeah, I put it there. Just so people know that it's on sale. It's 80% off at the moment. It's a really good game. It is in my currency though, that's the only problem. <laughs> so maybe it doesn't mean much to, uh, to anyone out of South Africa. But it's 80% off. That's the important part, I guess. You haven't bought anything on Steam sales? Yeah, there's quite quite good sales. Um, what is it called? Um, Grounded. Grounded is on sale at the moment as well, which is also a really good game. I think you could have some all the way down, all the way to town. I reckon it's possible, yeah? Why don't we have a look in a few ponds in that just in case? Can't do any harm, can it? I hope we find that red herring. Well, I mean... The name is a little suspicious. But sure, why not? Do you actually find it in the water? Oh wait, the map's showing me where it is. What am I doing? I feel like the ADHD makes me quite empathetic. 
sure it's just giving me vocal and mo 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 motoric tics. Tends to be mild whenever I'm stressed, they get worse. Ah. Uh, I see, and and um, maybe when you feel very strong emotions, maybe yeah, that would be like a kind of stress. Would it be here? See that red thing? Oh my goodness. We found our fishy friend. Better go and take a closer look though, just to make sure. <laughs> Freddy the fish inspector? Come on, just hop on them rickety looking bits of wood, you'll be fine. Ah! The heck? It is him! Oh! Wait, not that one. Ah! Nickers, he got away! Sorry. He's a lively one, alright. I bet he went off towards the palace, Lally Boy. After him. Yeah? Cool. Yeah, it's this way. I was trying to see if I press other buttons. Will anything make me sprint? Wait. Am I not going towards the palace? I'm going here. What the heck? My life is a lie. How does the map... Use this child still has not gone home. The fuck did I heal him for? Oh my god. That's lucky. Guess I'll just stick that in my pocket, I guess. So this is the king's favorite fish. <laughs> Just casually holding it out of water. Tidy, that's a red herring if I ever saw one. Now we can get ourselves an audience with the king. Ooh, hey, thank you for the head, Patsyaku. Let's head back and see that palace guard, shall we? Noom. What? Drippy's just gonna carry it? Man, this fish gonna die. Let me in before the fish dies. You again, I'm afraid we haven't located King Tom's pet. This one you mean? We came to deliver the king's fish back to him, so. Is that? Goodness. I know the regal scholar turns of the king's beloved red herring anyway. Well, I'll be. I reckon he must have swum out through the sewers into the town like. Is that so? I must let the other gods know right away. Ah, if I remember rightly, you were... That's right, we need to see the king. Yes, of course. But with him in his current state... What's that? Something up is there. You could say that. Did I mention that the person charged with caring for the king's red herring just let it escape? Everyone in the palace has grown terribly lax of late. So lax that we need to enlist the help of passing travellers, as you know only too well. I probably shouldn't be telling you this. But the king himself has been in... In... <laughs> Indolence personified, and it seems to be rubbing off on his subjects. Indolence? I, in, I don't know that word. Is that like laziness? I'm afraid so. Perhaps being reunited with his beloved red herring will give him the boost he needs. It is 80% off. That's why I put it there, just in case people don't know. Uh, depends on the emotion. Anger or sadness. The ticks tend to get worse. When the emotion is happiness, joy, comfort, or the big L of all things, they can go away. Ah! I had many times with my ex when I was just with her, just giggling on about the day, and I had zero ticks. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, when it rains, it pours, then I guess it must be quite difficult to deal with. Tidy, we're off to see the king. Come on, Ollie boy. Pleasure to meet you, you are Meow Justy. So Meow Justy. You who delivered one's treasure back to one. Hmm? That's right. Y yes, you're Meow Justy. Hmm. <laughs> and you wish for a prize. Hmm? A prize. Um. Go on, man. 
Was geht? Come now, Derbysh Well, your meow just see. Uh... Out with it now! We need your wand! <sighs> One's wand. Mom. Huh? What did you say? <laughs> It's eight pounds in British cash money. <laughs> smell. Could it be? We do pay a bit less in South Africa. That's right, you of Yaujisti. He's not from our world. He's the because I live in a third world country. We what? sometimes get ca um, discounts on games. This little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Fairy? Once you defy him, there's no turning back. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? Well, you know, he might be able to... It's not one's concern. You may not have the wand. Now be gone. Does that mean no wand, Mr. Droopy? Looks like it. So it's less than eight. Well, whatever price you see on the screen, so, so hundred and it's mind. about a hundred and forty rand. So that's the discounted price. That's how much I would pay um, because of the sale. But normally, what is that? I can't read it. Is it six hundred? Seven hundred? I can't see very well now. But in any case, we don't see like the. What would be, I guess, you would be eight pounds. Americans would have uh, doodles. We don't see that. We only see the South African rands because that's my location. It's 20 rand to the pound at the moment. Oof. So it's about seven. I'll be honest, I haven't looked at the exchange rate in a very long time. Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken hearted he is, or I'm broken headed. The king is? Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. And because he's broken hearted, the whole kingdom's being dragged down with him. What are we waiting for? Let's go find the piece of heart he's missing. Blimey, you don't need much encouragement, do you? It's not good. <laughs> Load jetting has done a number on most of our exchange rates. Yeah, that sounds about right. Every time, every time um, we have any kind of like change in, like I don't want to say management, <laughs> but like around elections and um, now with the the Eskom CEO, he's he's resigned. Um, that would have had an impact as well. So every time something like that happens in South Africa, our, our currency just tanks. So yeah. 9.99 for the normal price, not the sale price. What does it say here? Oh, it's normally it's normally seven hundred rand. It's normally seven hundred rand, but at the moment it's only one forty. It's not in what? It's not on sale for you? That's crazy. I wonder why. Oh, why did the voice stop? <laughs> Indeed he was, Ollie Boy. Like I say, the rec I reckon the king's got broken heartedness dragging everyone else down with him. But the other guard gave us some of his enthusiasm to help his friend. Maybe we should go ask him for some more. No, 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 man. Don't go doing that. That's a very important rule about borrowing pieces of people's hearts. There is? What is it? Well, you can't go taking the same piece of heart from the same person twice, see? One little scoop off the top is all it's safe to borrow. Gee, I didn't know that. 
But I'll be sure to be real careful from now on. So what do we do, Mr. Drippy? We trawl the town for someone else with get up and go a plenty in it. It's a sleepy old place, but there's bound to be someone somewhere. The only problem is where Ding Dong Dell's not exactly village size after all. You might even say it's proper massive. Guess it kinda is. In something of a quandary, are we? Oh, this guy. Flippin' heck, man! <laughs> you seem perplexed, my young friends. I thought you might benefit from a dose of my expansive knowledge. Thanks, that's real nice of you. You see, we need to borrow a piece of somebody's heart, but we don't know how to find one. Hmm, elementary, my dear Oliver. In times like these, just look to your locket. Um, how do you mean? Well, not only can it carry a piece of heart, the locket is also extremely sensitive to their proximity. It will glow when they are nearby. Tidy, so we can use it to track down some enthusiasm then, ain't it? Allow me to tell you a little more about the locket of yours. You will see that it has a habit of glowing brightly from time to time. This is how it reacts in the presence of those who possess one of the heart's virtues in abundance. Ah! It didn't show the original price in the search pop-up apparently, the normal price for it here. What? That's not- you get like a- is that a- <laughs> Uh, sorry. Sorry, Reese's Summer. That's weird. I didn't- I would not have thought that they would have, like, regional pricing differences. Did you- did you check the right version of the game? Because there's the normal one and the re- the re- uh, remastered one. Oh wait, oh wait, oh I see now. Okay, so it is it is eighty percent off. Cause it's nine ninety nine. But normally it's fifty euros. Damn. Incidentally, those with pieces of heart to spare will also glow verdant green on the minimap. Ah that's useful. It will not serve you to tell which of the virtues the subject has an excess, but it should prove exceedingly useful to you nonetheless. Sally forth and seek ye. Your piece of heart, young adventurer. And if you ever find yourselves in need of knowledge again, you may consider me wholly at your service. Farewell for now, friends. Right, so Ollie boy, let's have a look around for someone with a drop of enthusiasm to spare then, shall we? If your locket glows up all of a sudden, we know we're on the right track. Let's go! Okay, so no one here then. Cool. Oh, it doesn't show on the pop-up. Weird design choice. <laughs> Didn't it say someone would pop up green? On the map. Look, Mr. Drippy, the locket, it's glowing. Tidy, then there's someone around here with a piece of heart to spare, ain't it? Oh! <laughs> this kid. And the only person around here is him. And look at him, man. He can barely stand still, he's so eager. Jackpot. You mean, you think he has some enthusiasm to spare? That I do, my lad. I'd bet my lantern on it. Let's go and get it, shall we? Just steal this child's enthusiasm. Kind of weird, but... How do, saucepan head? I don't suppose you fancy doing us a favor, do you? Hey, stop distracting me. I'm busy. Busy? Uh, what are you doing exactly? Protecting the town from the mice, of course. Mice? Oh yeah, I remember hearing about the mice. We lived in Dig Dong Dell. Those mice are a menace. They're always running around, getting up to no good. But the grown-ups are too lazy to do anything about it. Most of them hardly notice when the mice steal things. And the ones that do don't seem to care. 
Well, Tommy Stout is not going to stand for it. I know the mice all live down in the well, so I'm standing guard here. Any mouse that comes this way is in for a battering. <laughs> well, well, we were right about this one. He's bursting with enthusiasm. Over to you, Ollie boy. What are you talking about? Well, King Tom seems to have seems to be really short on the enthusiasm right now. And that's where you come in, Tommy boy. You've got loads of the stuff. If we gave it if we gave some of it to King Tom, the whole town would sort itself out. Quick sharp. Yeah, so we were wondering if you could share some of your enthusiasm with us. Of course, I'd do anything to help the king. Thanks, Tommy. Take his hopes and dreams too. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. The distilled spirit of get up and go. Wow, that was strange. Well, now I know what magic feels like. Strange? What do you mean? Non-wizarding types aren't used to spell C, Solly, Solly, Ollie boy. They don't know what to make of them half the time. So does this mean King Tom's going to be alright now, Oliver? Yes, and once the king's back to normal, everyone else should start feeling better too. That's right, man. Your enthusiasm is going to put a spring in everyone's step, ain't it? Redeem Taylor does all the drippy lines in her best Welsh accent. No, listen here. Listen here, Llama. I had a, a Scottish person come in here just now and be like, Did I hear Scottish? So, it, is there an overlap somewhere where they, the accent can sound similar? No, I know it's Welsh. You mentioned earlier. But she came in here and she asked if she heard Scottish and I was like, no, it's Welsh. And then she said something mean and I told her off. Because she's a meanie pants. Until then though, better stay here and keep an eye out for mice. Alright, see you later, Tommy. Tommy's a good boy. Definitely not Scottish. Ooh! Noir, hello. <laughs> She's deaf if she thinks it's Scottish. <laughs> I don't know if she's still here, but it's Lucy. Um, oh, just going back to the palace. See, now I was talking to to Muk earlier, and we also thought it sounded really strange. <laughs> no, I, there's, as far as I know, only two Scottish people in my community. At least two that have outed themselves. <laughs> How are you doing? How was Christmas? Did you, did you ever manage to top up on the... Uh, was it Lush? The bath bombs and stuff? Because I remember the one year you bought like a bunch of their Christmas stuff, but you were using it very sparingly. Because you weren't sure if you'd be able to get more. I think it was Christmas stuff. Whoa! Tiff! Hey, yo! Pew, 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 pew. Thank you, thank you, Tiff. Four months. Damn, homie. I appreciate it. How are you doing? You topped up again yesterday? Nice. Can you send me a picture? If it's okay. I'm curious. I want to see what you got. Hmm? Mio, you again. One is becoming rather tired of these constant interruptions. 30 bath bombs? Christ, man. That's a lot of bombs. Oh, it has an O. Oh, did you order it online? Just saw the tweets. You ordered them on take a lot? Or your girlfriend gifted them? Now I said, Tiff, I can't remember what, what the post was. Now I need to go and search because my brain is like buffering because I remember we had a discussion. Oh, the Lord of the Rings books, thank you. <laughs> I 
I remember commenting because you commented on some other person's post and I was like, ah, yes, let me be rude and ask on this person's post where you got the books from. <laughs> but I'll go have a look on Take A Lot. I think that would be quite, uh, quite a nice because they look amazing. They look stunning. But yeah, otherwise I'm doing good. You also had a good Christmas, Noah. Gonna take a week or so to arrive. Uh, I'll bug you again in a week then and ask you. Where's the bombs, man? I mean the bath bombs. Not the bomb bombs. I hope you don't have any of those. They're amazing. They look... The thing is, like, I don't read. My boyfriend doesn't read. But he loves Lord of the Rings. And um, I don't think he actually has the books. So it might be nice to get it for him. Just so he can put it like on his shelf with all his uh, Lord of the Rings pops. Alright, we're giving this guy enthusiasm, right? Ray can't read? I mean, I'm pretty sure he can read. It's just that he doesn't. I don't read either though, to be fair. I read dialogue in video games. <laughs> But the the books the books that Tiff posted they just look really beautiful. I read I read Lord of the Rings when I was younger and The Hobbit, but I honestly it was such a long time ago. You're a huge book nerd and a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Ah oh, man, that's so nice to hear. They just just the picture that that person posted on Twitter it just looked beautiful. It looked like something nice to have on your shelf, even if you don't actually read them. If they just sit there and look pretty because that's what they are <laughs> they're very pretty books um that sounds just the ticket this accursed fatigue will be the death of one dealing with all these visitors has taken its toll not to worry your majesty a little bit of enthusiasm is all you need ain't it yes give heart Yeah, I used to read a lot when I was younger, and then I studied English literature in university, and I just fucking hated reading after that. Because it was- I had to- I had to read. In fact, I wrote my final in my last year of my studies without ever reading the fucking book. Because I was so fucking over it by my third year. Let's see, shall we? Hmm. What the devil was one up to? Your meow, Justy, please tell us you're back to your old self. Yeah? Why, one is ten times more energetic than one has ever been. But one feels different somehow. This is your doing, is it not? Then you must be rewarded. Give me stamps. Majesty, it seems that these brave adventurers... Oh no, wait, we want the wand. Give me a wand. Please. What? Is this true? Yes, your Majesty. It appears that you were cursed with a lack of enthusiasm. Is that so? One certainly didn't feel oneself for a while there. It seems one's in your debt. Wand, please! Uh, they're your most beautiful books, including the new Tolkien books. Oh, shit. Which are also bound like that? Oh, that's stunning. Did you do the all watch the film instead trick? Um, so... Uh, I can't remember which book it was. I know one of the years we did a... A Tale of Two Cities. I have to very carefully say that. Because when I was in university, one of my friends... Kept calling it a sale of two titties. And so I had to... Yeah, I had to be very careful whenever I said the title of the book. Because my brain immediately went to the wrong one every time. So, yes, A Sale of Two Titties, A Tale of Two Cities. I think... I don't remember if that was the final. Uh, there was another big boring book we had to do. Hi, Dreamy Luna! How are you doing today? Did you guys celebrate Christmas this past weekend? But, um, watching movies? Definitely did that in high school, instead of reading the books. Um, as much as I could. Uh, but I did enjoy reading when I was in high school, so I read the books anyway, and also watched the movies, if I could find them. But yeah. Oh, you ate too much? Did you have a food coma? Tidy, you know what to ask for in a dolly boy? 
I need a magic wand. Give me your wand, your majesty. Please and thank you. Is that so? Strangely, one feels as if one has had this conversation before. Now one thinks that there is a wand, one prized very highly as a kitten hidden away safely in one's bedchamber. One would be willing to part with it, but one will have to find it first. Return later on, and one shall present it, present it to you. If you're in search of a wand, can one take it that you are perhaps a wizard? Indeed he is, your majesty, a shiny new apprentice wizard, one who doesn't exactly know much magic yet. Hmm, is that so? Then let one provide you with a spell or two. One's wand will be of little use without spells to cast, after all. Really, your majesty? That's so kind of you. Thank you very much. Spring lock! Oh, hell yeah! There's that blue chest that I can open. Rejuvenate. Mio ho ho ho. You must enjoy the... You must enjoy the spells that inspired one so much in one's younger days. One that unlocks things and one that restores things to their former glory. <laughs> what did you used to get up to with these, your majesty? Yeah? I don't know how to say that. None of your business, fairy! Now, boy, you travel with a familiar, do you not? One has sent word to the quartermaster's... <laughs> the quartermaster store down in the town that you are given permission to, sh to shop there. The quartermaster's store? What kind of place is that, your meow justy? <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> hmm. Mew? Mew, are you sure that you are an adventurer? One cannot help but fear for the safety of such an innocent. No matter, the quartermaster store provides, provides weapons and equipment for the use of familiars. Why not go and browse the products on offer while... <laughs> <laughs> While one seeks one's wand, hmm? We sure will, your majesty. Thank you very much. Now, one has plenty to attend to. Come and present yourselves to one again in a short while. Yeah, you did have a food coma? Oh, perfect. I I don't necessarily celebrate Christmas, um, but I do celebrate good food and good people. Good company, rather. Good food and good company. So as long as you had that. Then it's all good. My Christmas was good. I got to spend it with uh, my boyfriend's family. We had good food and good company. And we did like a... Like a secret Santa, but without the Santa part. <laughs> we basically just like drew names out of a hat and bought a gift for that person. As opposed to just buying loads and loads of shit. Because the year has been a bit toit for everybody so we just uh we took it easy this is very pretty is it supposed to be like a crow because it's the core ah! quartermasters crow crow crota master no that sounds <laughs> oh, he looks like a goober oh here's the the last kid what's cracking homie Ow, wow, 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 wow. i tripped over and hurt my leg gee are you okay hold still for a second i'll fix you right up uh, which one is it? Healing Touch. It's an easy option for buying Christmas gifts. It is, yeah. Because, like... Alright, this is... Yes, this is the last kit. I can finally finish that quest. Because, um, yeah, then everyone got, like, one one big gift. Um, and we all got to buy, like, special things for each other. So I thought that was quite nice. The Nose Lantern is... Right? This guy was ahead of his time. Too bad Drippy's a bit of an asshole. Uh, let's see. Alright, this is just equipment that he's explaining. I'm gonna skip past all of this because this is just standard RPG stuff. So don't get in a flap. I'm not in a flap, sir. Thank you very much. What do you mean he's already found it? We just left the fucking palace. Ah, uh, call a customer. I don't mean to crow, but our wares are the finest in the land. Let's see what he's got. 
Spiral horn. This animal horn has a distinctly spiral shape that makes it somewhat tricky weapon to use effectively. The heck, man? That seems the most value for money. And we already have this bad boy. Oh, we have one of these as well. And this one? A tooth. It's so expensive, damn. I can literally just get gear for my one familiar. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know what else you use money for. You still need to finish this game? It's a lot of fun though. It's uh, I So the reason why I'm playing it today is because I started playing it and never finished. When I was younger. Because I moved out of my dad's house and never went back. <laughs> and uh, he also borrowed the game to someone and it just fucking disappeared. And I was like, thanks mate. They gave it to like someone's some cousin of the family or some shit and I was like okay but that's not gonna bring my game back. I didn't give a fuck who you gave it to. But yeah so I'm an adult now and this has been sitting in my Steam library for a little while so I was very excited when I saw it was on Steam. There was another game I saw on Steam recently and I was like what that's on Steam now? Was it Final Fantasy 7 or something? Was it the remaster? I can't remember now. I had a pop-up. Give me my stamps, lady. Oh, I got pie as well. You're going to ask? I love- I love Final Fantasy. When I was younger, that was my shit, yo. And by younger, I mean like, university age. I played... I would have to go and look at the main heroes, but I played, I think, 7, 8, 10, and 13. But I only played the first 13, and I only played the first 10. Um, and then... Uh, what else did I... I tried a little bit of the MMO, but it was... Whoa, mama! Uh, 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 chilling with the homies Chicken wing, chicken wing Hot dog and bologna Chicken and macaroni Chilling with the homies Chicken wing, chicken wing Hot dog and bologna Welcome homies Hey, hey, hey Mama Thank you, thank you for the follow Welcome to the posse, the bat brain And Nikki Bicky, the gamer Thank you, thank you Welcome peoples and thank you, Solden, for the subby. Oh my goodness, it's all, all of the, <laughs> all of the alerts. We bared. That was a jam. We got a jam, jam, yo. We got to celebrate the raiders. <laughs> Hello, motherfuckers. How you doing, mama? How is your stream? <laughs> Let me just do the shouty outies quick. Um, how was your stream? Did you have a good time? And welcome, welcome to all the Raiders. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nat Ortedo. I'm a variety streamer from South Africa. I normally play a lot of Genshin Impact, but Tuesdays and Thursdays are kind of my like, you know, up in the air kind of thing. I was playing Pokemon for a little while. Sometimes I study Japanese. Um, I just do whatever the fuck I want really on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, I also sometimes do face cam streams as well, and um, I do cosplay. So that's a little bit about me, if y'all want to introduce yourselves. Uh, you made some bomb-ass sandwiches. Oh my goodness. But, oh, were you, was you, was it a cooking stream today? Sheesh. You want to follow, but the Twitch app is glitching, and there's no follow button? Oh no. I'm so happy that you and Solden are together now. Listen, the secondhand joy, just seeing you guys posting pictures online. I'm just like, ah! so I'm I'm very I'm very happy for you guys, and I hope your sandwiches were super tasty. Thank you, thank you so much again for the wade. Mama mentioned cosplays. You like cosplays? Oh shit! Well, I can also recommend. Um, 
my socials. Hey, there we go. You got it. Thank you for the follow and welcome, welcome to the posse. I post on the tweeters, on Facebook, on Instagram. I post all my cosplay stuff there as well. Um, I am trying out TikTok, but I'm very bad at it because I'm very boomer. Um, but yeah, gosh. Thank you again, Mama. I hope um, I hope you guys had a good Christmas. Did you guys celebrate this weekend? Did you do anything special? I had... I, I think we were... Like, when you raided, we were talking about good food, good company. Because <laughs> that's my thing. Like... Uh, uh, I don't really celebrate Christmas as such. But I love spending time with my boyfriend's family. So that's what I'm all about. Good food, good company. That's all I need. But yes... You boomer? You sound so young though. I'm 30, so I'm not boomer boomer. Not boomer as such, but yes, I am 30. I turned 30 this year. You might not believe it. If you look at pictures. Most of my friends don't. Buri rolls? Oh, nice. Man, I can't remember when it was. It was sometimes, sometime this past weekend. And oh, oh uh, uh. <laughs> thank you, Yoda. <laughs> Someone over the weekend was having a bry, and I was just like, "Bro, can you not?" Because I'm sitting here with my window open, and I'm just spelling all the food. And I was like, "Come on, man, give me peace. Give me a piece. I'm hungry because it smells good." Goddamn. Anyway. You had your oldest here, mother-in-law, sister, and Sultan. Oh man, that's so nice! Ah, oh, I love, I love. Oh, what did I press? Hi, Yoda. <laughs> that's like your favorite sound alert. Gen X, yeah, because I was born in '92, so I'm too old to be a Zoomer, and I'm too young to be. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a millennial. I'm Gen Y. Not Gen X. Gen X is before me. And then... So I'm in between the... I'm in between the... Um, the, the X and the Z. But I kind of don't fit into either. That shit if bananas be a yana yana yes. This shit if bananas be a yana yana yes. Millennial bro, let's go. Where are we going? I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to stay home and play video games. You feel me? Y'all y'all on the same page. Also, Sultan, how are you doing, homie? How is everybody? I hope you I hope you've all had a wonderful holiday period, whether or not you celebrate. We're going to nap because we're millennials, and that's okay. Yes. Although I don't nap because my body's dumb. But, you know, if you want to go grab a nap, then please feel free to do so. You got to get ready for load shedding. Oh, shit, mama. Yes, get, go, 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 go. Get out of here. Don't even. No, no, no. It's, uh, uh, just go. Go do your thing. Go get ready. Go boil your kettle for a cup of tea. Go. I hope all your stuff's charged. And go find yourself a comfy spot and, and get your butt hunkered down for load shedding. For anyone who's not South African. And you don't know the pain of load shedding. We uh, we have a routine that we have to go through. We have like a, a list of things. Are your devices charged? Have you boiled the kettle? Um, have you eaten? You need to do. You need to, you either eating before the load shedding hits or you eating after. So you have to make that decision. Um, go turn off. Go turn off all your appliances that you don't want to have exploding because apparently my area seems to be pretty bad with um like surges or whatever there's someone there's someone living in my area that like has a thing that can read the, the electrics and he'll post every now and then when there's a surge and i'm like Ooh! why not eat during load shedding i mean if you need to warm it up you eating cold food you eating cold food during load shedding if you don't warm it up before. So I guess if it's like a sandwich or whatever, then you're fine. But if you want if you want like a warm drink, 
I guess it's hot now. Technically, I'm sitting here in jeans. <laughs> so my, my thermometer is a little bit broken. Also, Lucy, Noah said you're deaf, girly. Go fight him. I don't know where y'all live, but you live in the same country. Go fight him. Okay. What did I miss? <laughs> you max needs to fuck you, Rich. What the fuck? You also see yourself as a millennial. You're technically at the beginning of Gen Z. Ah, uh, yeah. My boyfriend's younger sister is also... She's, I think... Um... Maybe four years younger than me. She's also technically... Um... A zoomer, but she kind of falls somewhere in between. So she's sometimes zoomer, sometimes millennial. Oh, Noah, go fight. You too, Lucy and Noah, go fight. But don't fight here, go fight somewhere else. <laughs> I feel for you with the load shedding. We were going to have load shedding, but I don't know if we are now. Well, that's good, Lucy. I hope you don't, because holy shit. The problem is that you live in a country that's very fucking cold. I don't think we have it that bad. So, like, I think that's a problem. Being called worse. Someone called you Gmail. <laughs> but wasn't that on purpose? A Gmail Yahoo? Or was it, like, a mistake? You hate winter? Bad, if you don't mind me asking, where are you from? Like, you can give me, like, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere. That, that's enough of an answer. Because obviously I live in South Africa and I live in Johannesburg and it's just fucking balls hot here and dry. The dryness. Ugh. Gross. Oh, from Serbia. Oh. Beautiful country. Beautiful. But yes, cold. It's a pity that you hate the winter. Because, um, yeah. It seems like uh, much colder than South Africa for sure. <laughs> You guys shed your loads a lot. Yeah, we do. We do, Noah. We we literally shed loads every day. Sometimes multiple times a day. We're just constantly shedding our loads here. Um, but yeah, I think... Uh, I'm pretty sure my, my boyfriend's sister was born in, in 96. So yeah, she's technically a Zuma, but her brother's older than her. So, like, she grew up with him, if that makes sense. And yes, I do know about Serbia. I have a friend who moved there from South Africa. Um, she, uh, gosh, she moved there quite a while ago now. She's learning to speak the language. I think she's actually pretty good. I think she gets around just fine doing her own thing. Been making cold pasta salads. Oh, yes, bacon and smoked chicken. Sometimes pesto. Listen, uh, okay, I was going to say you could put pesto on a turd and I'd eat it, but I might not. I think that's a bit strong. Um, um, I just love pesto is what I was trying to say, but I maybe said it in a bad way. I really like pesto. <laughs> peppers, I may fight you. I don't like peppers, but in a cold pasta salad, peppers can be good depends on my mood i guess um hi papa t how you doing imagine if i actually knew your friend do you know any south africans if you know any south africans uh her her nickname is like achy or something it's it's an afrikaans name so i don't know how to pronounce it correctly but in any case yeah she moved to serbia she's very happy there and she's thriving she's doing very well there i'm very happy for her I'm glad she got out of South Africa. You're a whore for pesto. <laughs> Woolies pesto. Okay, I don't know if I've had a Woolies pesto before. Red pesto. Wait, what is red pesto made out of? Like what? I like, I like, um. There's basil pesto. I like basil pesto, but I don't like, um, what's the other one? I've seen people make coriander pesto, and I'm just like, uh, I really don't like coriander, like the leaves. I don't mind the seeds, because they use that on biltong. Um, but, but the leaves, the coriander leaves, for some reason, it tastes like vomit to me. So I don't know if, I don't know if my vomit is just coriander flavored, or if coriander is actually vomit flavored and no one else knows. 
but that's why I don't like coriander in any case. <laughs> I don't know what red pesto is, but it sounds interesting. Tato loves poop confirmed. What the fuck, Lama? How could you say that? I can't believe you. You would die. <laughs> you would die for pesto. Just just buy yourself like a jar and just eat it with a spoon. You know Mama Soldan and some other streamers, not IRL. But okay, so she is she does also stream. Um but she's kind of new to streaming. She streams a lot of uh what is that game called? Age of Empires or something? Like hardcore strategy. Coriander pesto. Yeah, I've seen it before and I was like, no thank you. I'd rather die. I can't stand coriander. If it's if it's in like I said, if it's the seeds, like if you cook with it, like as a seed, I don't mind. But very often restaurants will use the leaves as like a garnish, and I'm like, ah, oh, let's not do that. You say yet because you're coming to South Africa to visit? Oh shit, next year! Oh, that's really really cool. You must um. Are you are you coming during like a particular time? Like, are you coming for some kind of event, like a like a Comic Con or something? Um, otherwise, I would say chat chat to people about uh, what season to come in. It also depends on which city you go to, because um, the weather, the, the the summer heat can be quite harsh in Johannesburg, and that's where I live. Dry and hot, it's awful. Um, red pesto is tomato based, sometimes with peppers. Ugh. I mean, I like tomatoes. Like, I won't eat a fresh tomato, but I like tomato in things. It could be nice. Okay, so the summary to this whole conversation that I was just clicking through is that the king has disappeared. So we need to go and find him. You'd like to come for Comic-Con uh, Comic Africa? But you'd come around October, November. Um... Yeah, I think that's not too bad. We should, well, depending if you come to Johannesburg, um, we should have had rain by that time. So it shouldn't be too bad. But uh, December, January, that's typically the like balls hot, you want to die heat. <laughs> that's like awful. Um, but October, November, that's still in the beginning. Uh, it's it's technically like springtime. The weather's a lot more tolerable, and possibly getting rain. We get we get lots of rain in in the heat of summer as well. But it's like giant thunderstorms, which are fucking terrifying. But at the same time, they're wonderful. Anyway, we're gonna go chase rats now. I think that's what's happening here. It's a good time because it's not that hot yet. Yeah, definitely. You also want to visit see Cape Town? Yes, hundred percent. Yes, I'm actually moving to Cape Town next year. What's your beef with fresh tomatoes? Listen, Noir, they have two different textures. They have like rock hard on the outside and boogers on the inside. I can't stand fresh tomatoes, Noir. I'd rather die. I'd rather perish in a really bad way than eat a fresh tomato. The the thought of biting into a tomato and there's like snot gushing out at me, I can't. I feel sick thinking about it. If any of you enjoy eating tomatoes raw, just taking a big old bite out of a tomato, then we can't be friends. I'm sorry. You can go eat your tomato somewhere else. We'll be friends when you're done. You go eat your tomato somewhere else, and then you can come back. <laughs> you do, Lama? Oh, my God. How? Oh, my God. It's gross, man. The skin is so firm, and then there's the firm flesh on the inside, and then the boogers on the inside. Just just say you like eating boogers, okay? And move on with your life. Because that's gross, man. I can't. And then you make a sandwich with the tomato as well. And it just soaks into the bread. And then everything is tomato flavored. Oh! Kill me now. I would rather perish than eat a raw tomato. What is wrong with toasted cheese and tomato sandwiches? Okay, I will eat that. Because it's not raw. Right? It's not raw. But what is wrong with them is that they're the heat of a thousand suns. So that's the only problem with a toasted cheese and tomato. 
is that they're very hot. One streamer told you when you visit Cape Town, you should definitely ring him. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe they can show you around. They can take you to some places. I definitely need to be shown around when I move to Cape Town. I lived there very briefly years ago uh, with my older sister, and I'd love to do more adventuring. Never eaten a booger that I can recall. It's because you trauma blocked it, probably, Llama. You trauma blocked it, so you just <laughs> you don't remember because <laughs> because it was traumatic, because it reminded you of tomatoes and you couldn't live with that that idea. You ate your boogers at least once, or at least as a kid. <laughs> the thing is, like, y'all blow your noses, right? If you've ever blown your nose, you're gonna see a booger. You're gonna see a whole bunch of snot. You had to learn how you like tomato. Has to be super thin slices with lettuce on the bread first. Tomato, so it doesn't, yes, yeah, so it doesn't make it soggy. And always lots of pepper. So there's like very few instances where I'll actually eat raw tomatoes. So yes, being thin, um, but also uh, salt and pepper helps a mile. Um, and in toasted sandwiches, I'll, I'll eat cooked, I'll eat cooked tomato. I will eat a bowl of cooked tomato. I don't have issues with that. It's just when it's raw. Because when you cook it, it all becomes soft. So it's all the same texture. But when there's the contrasting textures, I fucking can't. Makes me sick. What color cape will you buy? What color do you think would suit me, Noah? Takes note for next therapy session. <laughs> do I need therapy for my... Um, my dislike of tomatoes? You like fresh tomatoes in salads? I won't eat them in salads. I'll eat sun-dried tomatoes in a salad, but not fresh. Maybe you just never had a good tomato. Well, I know South Africa exports a lot of the good things they produce, so I probably only eat in shit tomatoes, you're right. Ooh, emerald green, I'll take it. It'll go it'll go nicely with my blonde hair at the moment. I'll look like an elf, even though I'm hobbit sized. Oh, right, because it's parallel worlds, so there's there's soulmates. Why does this game look like a Genshin clone? I mean, I guess the 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 style of the like like the outline kind of thing a little bit. But this game is like really really old. Uh I don't know when it came out exactly. I just know that I was like either in high school or in university, which was a long time ago. Well before Genshin came out. This yes, this is Studio Ghibli. So, you know, like, uh, Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away, um, Pompoko, Pokoroso. So Genshin is a clone of this game? Not quite. People have said that uh, Genshin is very similar to Breath of the Wild. Um, what is it? Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? But there's, I think there's a lot of inspiration and there's a lot of things that it draws on. So I think it can be compared to a lot of things because of that. Okay, so we're going to look for soulmates of the cat. Timmy Toldrum! Miss Layla's cat. You're not very perceptive for a youngster, are you? <laughs> oh, no. Huh, okay. So what, do I go back wearing this, uh, this weird outfit and everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck, man? Princess Mononoke? It is, it is, yes. That's, that's actually one of my favorites. I almost cosplayed San. I haven't, haven't thought about it in a while, but 
I think she'd be a pretty fun cosplay to make. Um, but yes, Princess Mononoke is also Ghibli. Gateway. Oh my god, EE? -E? What's EE? -E? How am I going to upgrade my broken phone if your shop is broken? <laughs> Wait, what's EE? -E? Is it a service provider? Yeah, look at this shit. Like, I'm dressed like a... Adventurer, man. Julie's Jewels. There we go. Layla's Milk Bar. Oranges cost a cent. Damn. Eggs. Idaho potatoes. What are those? Udaho, not me. Apples. Fresh tomatoes. I think not. Them's peaches. This game, I think it's because of the art style. Someone said it earlier as well. The game held up really well. One of your favorite anime characters? No face and Ryuk? Oh, so you like the kind of creepy, creepy characters? Yeah, I think, um... Ryuk's character was very good. Used to be orange. BT Vodafone, T-Mobile. So we have Vodacom. Not Vodafone. I don't know if they're related at all. Creepy but kind of wholesome. No face, yes. Definitely 100% kind of wholesome. I'm curious what part of Ryuk you think is wholesome. <laughs> I need, I need a, I need a, an example of what makes him wholesome. Vodacom's owned by Vodafone. That makes sense. They got bought a while back. Because the Vodacom brand already existed, they kept the name. I mean, that's smart. No need to change and confuse people. We have, we have a load shedding schedule to follow. We get confused enough on the daily, thanks. Um, where is Timmy? Where is the putty cat? Oh, yeah, because King Tom's disappeared now. We have to go look for this chunky lad. <laughs> this woman has no idea. Does that say milk white bath? It does. It says white bath. That's kind of gross, man. What kind of milk is that that it's bath? You have the death note just because he was bored? <laughs> is it? <laughs> Him, him leading to people dying makes him wholesome. I mean, I like him as a character. Even though he's like, technically in a way like a bad guy, like... I actually enjoyed the story of Death Note. I'll be honest, I didn't like Kira and what was her name? Misa? I didn't like them so much, but I liked the, the Shinigami. Um, Ryuk and... Um, Remy? Rami? What was her name? I can't remember now. Oh, it's the little girl. I'm sorry, Oliver. We haven't looked in your house yet, have we, Ollie boy? Run over there and check now. Back in a bit. I'm sorry, Oliver. I'm sorry you're all alone. Your mummy. You know about that? When mom died, I thought she'd be gone forever. I thought I would be all alone. But now, now I can help her. I just need to finish what I started. Oh, I wanted to ask you that wand, the one I found. Did you leave it for me? Without it, I could never have gone to the other world. Maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about, but if it hadn't been for that wand, I'd still be all alone. Really? Really, really? So she's got bright green hair like that other kid that we saw. I hope you can save your mummy, Oliver. Thanks, but who are you? How do you know my name? I'm P! 
I've always known you, Oliver. Always? So your name's P, huh? Yes, I'm P. Oh, hey P, have you seen a big old cat? His name is Timmy Toldrum. He has stripes all over and he's kind of fat. That's kind of rude. <laughs> Mr. Kitty, I know Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty? I'll take you to Mr. Kitty, Oliver. Follow me. She must mean Timmy, right? <laughs> I would say... Spoiler, but the anime's old and so good. Shame on you if you still didn't watch it. <laughs> Thank you for the lurkies, Dreamy. Um, were you on L's side? I wasn't necessarily on anyone's side. I just thought it was interesting. So if anything, maybe on the Shinigami side, because I was just uh, spectating the nonsense that the kids were getting up to. Um, but Light, Light was kind of a piece of shit. I don't know. He wasn't a good kid. He had a hell of an ego. Um, and he just, yeah, like I said, didn't seem like a good kid. Misa, Misa was just really annoying. Holy shit, I could not stand her. She was awful. I liked, uh, I liked Nia. Was it Nia? N? And, uh, L was pretty cool. I get why you didn't like Misa, but her aesthetics, <laughs> goth, goth girlfriend kind of aesthetics, yeah. No sign of old fatty the mug. <laughs> <laughs> this game! You can't call people fat anymore! I mean, it was never nice to do, but, you know, I think these days people will actually have a go at you if you do it. Kind of wish I had that growing up, because I was chonky. I still am kind of chonky, but now I don't give a fuck, and now I'm too old to give a fuck. <laughs> uh, what are you doing standing around here on your own anyway? I'm not on my own. There's a little girl here. Telling me she knows where the Mr. Kitty is. I'm gonna follow the spooky spook. You love goth chicks? Uh, have you watched, um... Um... Ah, fuck, what is it called? Is it is it Dress Up Darling or something? Because uh, the, the one character dresses up, like, in... Uh, I don't know if I would say goth necessarily, but, like... It's a nice outfit, we'll say that much. Can we take a moment to appreciate our Lord and Savior goth chicks in fishnets? Ah, oh, I like thigh highs, to be honest. Thigh highs are good, man. Like them squishy thighs. In thigh highs. Oh yeah, Drippy can't see P. So Drippy just thinks we lost our fucking minds. She's so cute though. I can't remember who she is. I feel like she is someone. I just can't remember who. Whomst? Whomst the little pea is? Oh, that's a wall. But yes, I'm all about that. Uh, what is... There's a name for it. That space between the thigh highs and the skirt or shorts. Absolute something, maybe? I can't remember now. What's cracking, P? Is this where Timmy is, P? Shh. Oh? It's a mouse! The little triangle? No, no, no. So it's like, um... Let me Google it so you don't have to. <laughs> um... Zetai Ryoki! Uh, absolute territory. It is the space between um, the amount of bare, sk bare thigh skin between the skirt and stockings. Not, not quite below the underwear. It's more like between the skirt. Or shorts, I guess. I don't know. It just says skirts here, but like... <laughs> it's um it's a thing oh you were talking about thigh gap ah I don't know what thigh gap is I've never known thigh gap in my life don't know her it's 
So apparently this comes from Neon Genesis Evangelion. The name, I think, originates from there. In any case, <laughs> absolute territory. I always forget what it's called, but yeah. A mouse? Is there something else there? Hold on a second. Wait a second. Okay, we're good. We're gonna go chase down meowses now. Timmy! Timmy, oh, a sleepy boy. Was he chasing the meowses? Thanks, P. Bye, P. <laughs> He's just carrying the cat on his back. He did that with a fish earlier. Which did not seem to be the right way to carry a fish, but you know, what do I know about anything? <laughs> Why did you Google it? Uh-oh. I hope you were searching on safe mode. I hope you're not in public searching such things. Oh my goodness. The worst is when I'm... Because I'm... Oh man, guys, I have a problem. I'm like perpetually on Reddit. And I was... Without even thinking about it, I was like at a convention and I started scrolling through Reddit. One of my friends turns over to me and they're like, Are you on Reddit? And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I could have been looking at anything. Oh my god. Okay, you're in your room. Okay, well that's fine then. Wasn't he heavy? <laughs> I think so. Why is Oliver saying not really? He didn't even carry the thing. He's just a little tired. <laughs> Were you in the not safe for work section of Reddit? Well, the thing is, like, if they have not safe for work thingies, it's, like, blurred. But I just, without thinking, will click on not safe for work posts. Because there's not safe for work things on the Genshin Reddit, like, all the time. Like, last night, I think there was a picture of Yae Miko in, like, a bikini or something. Which gets tagged as not safe for work. But, like, I don't think before I click. Like, I literally just, I'm like, this is blurred. Let me click on it so I can see it. Without thinking. Like, in public. Well, no, man. And, like, Twitter? I've opened... Because um, I get follows from random people on Twitter. I'm like, who the fuck is this person and why are they following me? Because I'm nosy, right? So I'll go and look. And then sometimes there's just, like, bam. Penis. Raw, unfiltered penis. And I'm just like, can y'all put, like, a spoiler tag on that or something? I don't want to see your ding-a-ling. Um, titties, too. People's buttholes. Nobody censors that stuff. Which I guess is fine, because Twitter doesn't censor that stuff. But, you know, not exactly what you want to be seeing when you open Twitter, just randomly during the day. Why you don't look at Reddit in public? I know, I know, but it's like such a habit for me, because I don't go out much. It's just like, yeah, the last con I was at, I was uh, sitting around waiting for something, and I just opened it. <laughs> I would say I learned my lesson, but I don't think I did, to be honest. He was getting a little exercise. Mm. Too flipping right you could. <gasps> Big. Man, Drippy's, Drippy's spicy as hell. Should change his name. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he's in the sewers. He got... He got... Uh, bamboozled by the Rat King or something. But yes, Twitter Twitter is worse because at least on Reddit, people will go at you if you don't mark something as not safe for work. People don't care on Twitter. I've seen full-blown porn on Twitter and I was stunned. I was not expecting it. But I, I try to block those accounts now. <laughs> as soon as they pop up, I'm like, nope, no thank you. Hot singles in my area kind of vibes, no thank you. Looks like they stole someone else's uh, pictures to make that Twitter account. And I'm like, nope, I'm good, thanks. Thank you, goodbye. But yeah, because I'm so used to just being at home. Um, 
I'm so used to just being at home. I don't think about when I'm out. Espy the sewers, right? Yeah, I thought so. Alright, yeah, that kid guarding. You've recently been talking to a girl. You started talking romantically. And a bit spicy. She got used to you sending... She got you used to her sending selfies one day. Oh, no. <laughs> mm, you were out in public and it wasn't a selfie. Mmm... Ding dong well in ding dong dell. He's been kidnapped by the mice. Why would a cat get kidnapped by mice? How strange. It definitely wasn't a selfie. Ah! Were you with other people? <laughs> Did you have your phone angled where other people could see it? <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, you almost dropped your phone. I think I would have dropped my phone. The only problem with that is it draws more attention to you, right? Which makes you then panic even more. And then you fumble. Oh my god. Don't be daft, man. <laughs> this is a job for professionals, ain't it? Not some underage vigilante with a saucepan for a helmet. I mean, listen, I'm worse off than him, I think. He has a friend? <gasps> oh my god, that's adorable. Look at that, a flipping familiar. Well, I never. He followed me home when I went to play in the woods, and he's really strong. If he's with me, I'll be fine. You don't quite get it, <laughs> do you, sunshine? Fighting with familiars is flipping hard. Your average person can't just jump into the fray and start ordering them around. You need to be a wizard like Ollie Boy here. Okay then, Oliver, you can have my familiar. Gee, thanks, Tommy. <laughs> Why does that sound so disingenuous? <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, does anyone have a name suggestion for this baby? First come, first serve. You were sitting at the bar, but luckily no one was behind you. <laughs> that is very lucky. Does anyone want to name the... It looked like a lemur. I haven't really started catching that many familiars, so we don't really have any at the moment. Any, many... I don't know if I'll be able to fit what I want to fit in. Leave me alone. <laughs> like, leave me alone. <laughs> I told you you can't do that to me, and by that you can't do that, I mean, I definitely encourage random spicy pics. Yeah, you just need to be careful <laughs> when you open your phone. I know that, um... Psych up, it builds up strength for a bit. Gives baddies a proper whacking, like... Once the familiar is psyched up, instead of just attacking like normal, you can let it go wild. When a familiar goes wild, it attacks for longer and does more damage. This new technique of yours will make it easier to cancel enemies' actions as well. Shit! So it's an interrupt. Oh, I wanted to say, um, Discord is quite nice for that kind of stuff, because you can add pictures with, like, a spoiler tag. That way you'll know whether or not it's safe to open. It was on Insta. Ah, she never made the... Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, man. 
So it was like a once-off thing. It's like I can't defend for Toffee. It just ain't in their nature, the feisty little blighters. Now that you got two little mates, you'll soon see for yourself that all creatures are different. Yes, I want I want to catch all the Pokemons, man. Oh, there's fish here. I was like, why can I see like little... Anyway, let's go. I still have about 20 minutes left. I have a spell for this. Soon after you stop talking for different reasons. Ah, I mean, it happens. Blue chests. Ah, uh, I can only think of one in the forest that I saw. I don't know if we found any other ones. There was that purple one the, in the city. Oh, what the fuck are those? That's a huge bitch. Where a pussycat once fell off. Oh, is that a little frog? My lantern will go moldy if I don't watch out. <laughs> it would really get moldy. Fee fi fo fum, I smell the blood of a bucket load of proper feisty beasties. Careful, Ollie boy. <laughs> Man. Oh, what the fuck is that? Rabot. And a tatlywink. Oh my god. Double the familiars, double the fun, double the possibilities to swap between your familiars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I love the Tadlywink though. GG's. Why are you running away, bro? Ow! No, not him! Okay, so it only swaps to the last one. Because uh, you can press down. And the down switches it, but it only switches to the last one. Or the one in the first slot. Ice cream. Okay, I might, uh, I have lots of breads. There's another Tadlywink. Hello, chunky boy. Round boy. Oh! Na- Naja! Kind of curious. <laughs> I just wanted to see what that did. We did it. Noise. I scream, you scream, we all scream. Because the world is on fire. It's just a bony. It's not on this side. Eh. It doesn't look like there's anything there, right? No, it doesn't look like it. What? Ah! Damn it. 
I need to stop running away from things. It's not like Pokemon where you can just run from things. Oh! <gasps> the heck hit me! Holy shit. I thought I was safe where I was. Oop! No, 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 no. This is way too spicy. Oh, Lord. Oh! <gasps> Please and thank you. Honestly, thought this guy would in would drop more more balls, but it's fine. Hi, Leon. How are you enjoying this game so far? Well, I have played it before, but I did play it a long time ago. So, but yeah, it's, uh, I want to say it's as good as I remember it. Like, I played it when I was, I say a kid. I was like in university or high school. I can't remember when exactly. But, um, yeah, there's just a lot more dialogue than I remember. And I'm just like, damn, how patient was I? Because I'm a little bit less patient now, I guess. Nice. Nice. We did it. You didn't get very far. Uh I I think the the combat's quite fun. That's that's what I like. It's kind of like Pokémon in a way, but not really. And at that point I'd played Pokémon games, but only on emulators, so it wasn't really the same feeling for me. Have you tried the second game? I haven't. I haven't. So I never really finished the first game, which is why I'm playing this now. Because I never got a chance to finish it before. Ah! So yeah, I want to I play this and then uh, maybe in the future I'll have a chance to play the, the second game as well. But I know there's also, they brought out a new one this year, question mark, last year? I can't remember when. Um, that you can play on mobile, you can play on PC. I don't know anything about it, to be fair, but... There's nothing here. You loving the second one? Oh yeah. So someone someone earlier came and said that it's the second one is very different and so they didn't enjoy it as much. But I guess it's because they really enjoyed the first game, you know. <laughs> so like you said, very different. Ow. Man, I'm trying to get away from that. That hits that range is ridiculous. What the heck, man? We won! Did I not pick up that golden orb? Oh, I did. Thank god. It was like a full heal. Oh, 
I can go in the water? Shit. Both story and fighting is way too slow. Ah. Uh... Hmm. I think for me a big part of playing this is like kind of like nostalgia because I played it when I was younger and I really enjoyed it. Now I like want to play it because of that. But I enjoyed the story when I was younger. Kind of curious to see where it goes. Noise. You've never heard of this game? <laughs> um, it's a PlayStation game. PlayStation 3. Um, but I don't... I'll be honest. I don't even know how I found it. But yeah, it's it's Studio Ghibli. We can do this. I honestly don't know how I found it. Maybe someone just bought it for me? Honestly don't remember. You never PS3? You had PS2, Xbox 360, 4, 5. <laughs> you just completely skipped the, the PS3 era. You're like, nah, not for me. The Japan exclusive DS version had a big magic book. What? Shit. Well and truly, I live in the wrong country for video games. No! I don't want to fight you, man. Watch this. <laughs> you could draw the spell signs. Oh, that's cute as hell, man. Oops, not what I wanted to do. I might stop now with their changes. Wait, really? I was just bragging about cheaper games earlier. I hope that's not true. <laughs> that would suck. Yes, yes, little froggy. Let's go. Here Whoa! Get him! Get him! Shit. Damn! No fucking chill, mate. Hmm. I hope there's a save point soonish. Ugh, guys, come on then. It's to stop people using a VPN and buying cheap. It makes other Let's problems. Go. Ah. I wonder though, because I know people who have used a VPN, but it doesn't actually decrease. So I don't know if there's like a way to do it in particular, but like, I've heard that that doesn't actually work. 
And I had a friend who moved, but she did, I don't think she changed her location. Like, didn't update it on Steam, but it... It automatically changed her location for her. Who? Trying to light these. Do I? I do have a... Nope. Oof. Are we making a new account? Uh, I wonder. I'll be honest, I'm not smart enough to figure those kinds of things out. <laughs> but maybe there is some kind of trick to it. Oh man, I just need a save point. I need a skiddle soonish. Go look at the other. Oh, hello. Can I open that? I can. Hi, Smurf. How are you doing? Wait, didn't I have a? Oh, he can use it. I see. How's it going, homie? Hope you had a good Christmas. Yeah, not too bad. We just chillin'. We vibin'. I need to go stop making dinner soonish though. That's what I'm thinking about at the moment. You got sunburned? Oh no! Oh my god. Did you spend like a lot of time outside? I don't need to spend a lot of time outside, that's why I ask. <laughs> I I just spend like a couple minutes outside and I get sunburned. Um There's another statue here. Ah shit. You're a delicate little baby, that's a mood. <laughs> what you gonna make? I think I was just gonna make spagoodies and mints today. Wait. Very simple, but that's okay, because it means I don't have to spend too much time in the kitchen. Spag bowl. Um I don't know so much about the flavor. If I would say it's exactly, but um, what I make is very simple. Hmm. I don't know where the next save is. I was hoping there would be a save in here. Man. The thing is, like, I don't want to go. I don't want to backtrack, because then things are going to respawn and then have to fight things again. Like this. You hate spaghetti bolognese? Why? Let's go. Here goes. Nino! Nino! You had allotments, but you made a large batch and you freeze it? Yeah. Objectively just wrong. <laughs> I mean, Ray likes it. Uh, that's why I'm making it. Um, but... Let's do it. It's a simple dish. 
I like it. You just have to season it well to make it taste good. <laughs> Tato being best waifu for Ere. I hope so. <laughs> I think, um... I mean, obviously it depends on how you season it, right? Please let there be like a save around the corner. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think anything can be good. If you, um... If you cook it well, right? But seasoning is super important. I was gonna say looking at you white people, but I'm a white people, so... <laughs> I might just have to pause this game. No, I was there earlier. There's a chest. How did this guy just res- Bro, I was just- I just whipped your ass. There's a chest here. Because I need to save all this progress I made, but there's no save point. So I may have to just play a little bit off stream just so I can... Um... Get to a save point, which is unfortunate. I don't like doing that, but we did it. also Puggy. Shall I message you on Discord when I'm done? Those. We can start boozing it up. Oh man, these guys respawn way too fast. Carrots, mushrooms, onions, green onions, garlic, ginger, olives, wine, soy sauce. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Maybe too much for me. I think I. Silly fucko. Um. I've never cooked with wine before. I've never tried. I know it can be really good. You're currently drinking a Red Bull? Oh no. Also, energy drinks and alcohol make a wonderful combo. I I can no longer drink the um the purple, what is it? Ultraviolet. Uh ultraviolet um monster anymore because I had it with way too much what did I drink with it hmm what did I I can't remember what I had now but I was very hungover and uh, regretted my life choices after that so use wine a lot but you don't drink wine? I mean, that's fair. It's really good for cooking with. Oh, I didn't do this thing. Damn it. Oops. Please give me a save. Oh, was I too slow? <gasps> oh, Jesus! <laughs> God. Any game can be can have jump scares in it with me. Let's go. Top tier for taste, but makes things kind of dangerous. Oh yeah, for sure. Your body's like, ah! Sambuka? Oh no. Or any other any seed taste? Yes! Oh man. I can I can understand that. Um, I just don't like the taste of licorice though, so that's my excuse. But yes, yeah, Sambuka is um, something else. It tastes like medicine. So does... Um, what's that other one? Um... What is it called? It's got a deer on it. 
Oh, there's one here as well that I missed. Oh, I need to fucking book it. Okay. Jaeger, yes. Jaeger, Jaeger. Jaeger is disgusting. That is literally cough syrup. Don't at me. I'm not interested. What? Was that too far away? Jaeger is god awful. That's up strong, man. Licorice is vile, awful, disgusting. Agreed. It is. It makes me sick. Aha! <laughs> the way he's running down the stairs, that's like every Ghibli Ghibli character. They just yoink it down the stairs like that. Give me a save point, you silly game. Whoa, dangler fish and bud bud. Hello, motherfucker. Hi, Momo. Whoa. Momo, relax. But well, not Momo. <laughs> Man, this Lima is slapped. <laughs> All I want is a save point, bro. Because, like, you can't just save willy-nilly. Because I really need to skidoodle. I might have to just pause it there and skidoodle skidoodle and try and find a save point. Red Pool Vodka. Red Pool Vodka is popular. I missed that earlier. But yes, Jaeger is also, also pretty gross. Um, I'm just gonna... Whoops. I just opened a very wrong app. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some chill music on while I throw us into a raid. I just need to sit down. Dunk. All right. I'm sitting a little bit skew, but it's okay. Aren't we all a little bit skew sometimes? Sorry, Momo. It's because I was shouting at my Lima, and <laughs> my brain was like, "Ah, yes, Momo from um, uh, what is that other game? Ugh, not game. That other show." Uh, the last Avatar, Avatar, the last Airbender. Um, yeah, the the little Lima thing is Momo. Sorry, <laughs> my brain was not working in any shape, way, or form there. Um, let's see, let's see, where are we gonna go? Oh. There's a, a beautiful people that we haven't been to in a while. It was hilarious. <laughs> There's a beautiful people that we haven't been to in a while. And I can go throw you guys off there. She'll take care of you. Mm. Okay, let me just set up the raid. Uh, thank you all so much for today. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to play, but I actually really enjoyed playing... Um, Nino Kuni. Um, I should be streaming tomorrow. Y'all know the drill. Uh, it's a boss killing evening, so if you need help with killing bosses in Genshin Impact, I'll be around. Just let me know when. Uh, or let me know, like, come into chat, like, when I'm streaming, and, and let me know if you want help with the things. Um, but yes, everyone, have a lovely, lovely day. I'm gonna go have dinner, and then I'm gonna chat with Puggy because we haven't had a catch up in for ages so that's what we're going to be doing um, but yeah everybody please do take care I will see you Puggy I will see you even sooner um, yeah bye 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 have a good day mother son <laughs> okay wait let me type this uh, we're going here and we're gonna take all the love in our hearts we're going to uh, Fifi Another South African streamer, if you don't know her. She's a fucking blast. Guys, she's funny as fuck. I love her. Don't get our Tato too drunk. Listen, I have three bottles of soju with my name on it. I should not drink more than one, though. I should not. I cannot promise anything. <laughs> 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 ah.
God. Anyway, guys, yes, let's take all the love in our hearts. We're going to V. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alrighties. Bye, 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 bye.